and a concrete heart. right now. Oh Lord, I'm praying for you to renew my mindset right now. Today we're asking God for, to renew our mindset. Renew our mindset. We have to ask for that prayer each and every day. Each and every day the enemy targets our mind and right now just renew our mind. Just renew our mind. Come on, come on. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. You almost there. You almost there. Come on, come on. We're praying for our mindsets. Let's lift up our voices and begin to pray for our mindsets. Let's target our mindsets right now because we know that's a powerful thing. We know that's something that the enemy tried to target because it controls you. It controls the way you walk. It controls the way you speak. It's your thought process. So that's what the enemy tried to target. But right now we want to ask God and say, God, program my mindset. Bro, God, program my mindset. I want you to have my mindset to be brought under submission to you. So right now we're going to begin to pray for our mindsets, people, God. We're going to begin to pray because how can God give you anything? How can God do anything for you if your mindset is not on him, if your mindset is far away? So right now we're going to just focus and say, God, here's my mind. Here is me. Here is all of me right now. And I want you to take your, 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 your presence, your spirit, and begin to pour inside of my mindset. I want you to take that very thing that I'm thinking about that is not of you and take it away. Take it away. I want to be free from it. I want you to just take completely control. Can we pray that prayer and say, God, take completely control of my mindset. Come on, let's lift up our voices together and pray. If you can clap, let's clap and pray. Come on, come on. This is revival tonight. You come to get revived tonight. You come to be energized tonight. God is a God of fire. So if you need that fire, let him come shock you tonight. Come on, come on. We pray for our mindsets. Lord, I pray and lift up your people even now. I pray right now, Lord, as they begin to open their mouth and out of their food and their lips. I pray to God that you begin to renew their mindsets. I pray to God that their mindsets begin to rejuvenate by you. I pray that you begin to touch your very hand and begin to touch their minds, Lord. I pray that their mindsets are no longer upon the word, but it's upon you. That it's upon your word and it's upon the cross. No, I pray as you're touching their minds, Lord, that they can not be missed, Lord, what you have for him tonight. Lord, I pray that the best, Lord, will leave, Lord. Oh, Lord, full of you, Lord, dear God. Lord, as you're touching the mic, sister God, it's no longer dim, but it has your light tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, come on, keep praying for your mind. Keep praying for your mind. Keep praying for your mind. Come on, come on. Say, God, do something with my mind tonight. If you don't do anything for anyone, something else, Lord, do it for me. Do it for me. I come here to be changed. I come here to be revived. I come here to be a changed person. Come on. This is me, Lord, standing in the need of prayer. See, Cornelius, Cornelius he was able to pray. And his, his prayer came unto God as a memorial because as he prayed, God heard his prayer. So be Cornelius right now. Come on, let's be Cornelius right now and begin to pray because you want your prayers to be lifted up to him. Come on, come on, say, God, this is my mind. It is not how you want it right now, but I know you're going to be shaping and forming. Lord, Lord, that we know that you are the potter, and Lord, that we are the clay, that you're going to continue to mold our mindsets, however you want it to be. Come on, come on, say, Lord, restore my mind, dear God. Renew my mind, dear God, my thoughts and ways. We need to have the character of Jesus, but we know that you have to go inside of our mindset and pull out anything that is not of you right now. Come on, come on. Say, renew my mind. Renew my mind. 
take completely control. My mind. I sacrifice my mind to you. I sacrifice my mind to you. I bring my mind son under submission to you for you to just have your way. Have your way. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way. Come on, come on. Come on, we in revival tonight, people of God. Come on, come on. How many of you know that we in revival tonight? Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Don't miss out what God has for you tonight. It starts right here. It starts right here. As you walk inside this door, it's no longer a door, but it's the hospital. And you come to see Dr. Jesus. You come to see Dr. Jesus. I know Jesus has not left. He has not lost a patient yet. Come on, come on. How many of you can testify that Jesus hasn't lost a patient yet? You are still here. You are still here. He has written you a prescription of your meds of him. My God, come on, come on. You are that patient that he never left. He hasn't left. Come on, come on. Say, this is my mind. This is my mind. This is me. And if you could just begin to stand up on your, in your feet. Come on, come on. Come on, let's do something different, people of God. Come on, this is revived. We need our spirits to be revived. Come on. Come on, come on. How can we worship? Worshiping is giving God credit. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's stand to our feet. Let's stand to our feet. As the worship team is about to get it. Get ready to worship. Come on, come on. How can we worship if we're quiet? Come on, come on. Are we some Davids here ready to worship God? Are we some Davids here ready to worship God? How did David worship? Did he worship him in silence? How did, how did David worship? He gave him his all. He didn't care about his neighbor. He didn't care about who was watching him. Come on, come on. He got God's attention by doing it with his heart. Are you worshiping God with your mouth or you worship him with your heart? Come on, come on, let's worship him with our hearts. Let's begin to wave our hands. Let's begin to wave our hands. Let's begin to wave our hands. Say, God, when I worship you, I want to worship you in the spirit and in truth. As I worship you, I want all of you. I want all of you. I want all of you. Less of me and all of you. I want to be that David that just scream and shout. When you say scream and shout as I worship you, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on, let's say hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on, two people want to be revived. Come on, three people want to get ready to worship. Say hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Say hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on, five people ready. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on. You almost there. You almost there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. You're ready to Hallelujah. worship. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank In Jesus, Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Come on, just stand on your feet at this moment. Stand on your feet. Come on, just begin to lift your hands. Come on, we are in a revival evening. So just lift your hands right now at this moment. Come on, begin to ask that the Holy Spirit will take place in your heart. Come on, ask him, say, Holy Spirit, take place in my heart. Take place in my mind. to speak to him. Come on, close your eyes as you talk to the Lord. Close your eyes because you're not talking to a mere man, but you are talking to God. Come on, close your eyes as you speak to him at this moment. Close your eyes. But we serve an amazing God. We serve a living God. We serve a mighty God. Is there anyone in this place that can join me as we begin to worship him tonight? Come on, lift your hands, lift your hands. Don't be ashamed to worship him tonight. Don't be ashamed to give him the glory tonight. Don't be ashamed to give him the love that he deserves tonight. Come on, he said if you don't praise him, then the rocks will cry out. So don't let rocks begin to praise God tonight. 
But let the praise begin to come from your own mouth tonight. Come on, praise him, praise him. Acknowledge him at this moment. Acknowledge the Lord. Come on, acknowledge his presence. Acknowledge his presence. There you go. Acknowledge his presence in this place. Come on, acknowledge his presence. Acknowledge that he is God in this place. Come on, acknowledge him. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge him. We thank you, Jesus. Acknowledge him. Lord. Acknowledge him. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Lord. Acknowledge him in this moment. Begin to ask that he cleanse your heart. Begin to ask that he cleanse your mind. Hallelujah.
Lord, breathe into me tonight. Come on, begin to ask him, breathe into me. If there's any part of your life that you feel that is dead or in the process of dying, come on, begin to ask the Lord. Say, Lord, breathe life into me. Breathe into me. Come on, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Ask the Lord to breathe into you tonight. Come on, begin to speak to him. Begin to speak to him. If I can just have one person, come on, that can begin to ask God to breathe into me tonight. Come on, begin to ask him. Say, Lord, breathe into me. Say, Lord, I need life this evening. Come on, begin to ask him. Begin to ask him. Begin to ask him. If you can clap your hands in this place and begin to pray and begin to ask God to breathe life into me tonight. Say, Lord, I feel like I'm dying. I feel like I'm heavy. I feel like I'm depressed. Come on, begin to talk to God. Say, Lord, breathe life into me. Breathe life into me. Come on, ask him, ask him, ask him, ask him. Come on, clap your hands in this place. Ask the Lord. Say, Lord, breathe into me. Breathe into me. Breathe into me. Make these dry bones come to life. Say, Lord, breathe into me. Breathe into me. Breathe into me. Come on, come on, speak to him. Speak to him. Speak to him in this place. If I can just have two more people, come on, begin to ask him. Come on, if I can just have three people, come on, ask the Lord. Say, breathe life into me. Breathe life into me. Help me tonight. Come on, ask him. Say, help me tonight. Help me tonight. Help me tonight. Come on, keep clapping. Keep clapping. Keep clapping as you pray. Come on, keep clapping as you pray. Keep clapping as you pray. Come on, keep clapping as you pray. Say, Lord, breathe into me. Breathe into me. Breathe into me. Breathe into my mind. Breathe into my heart. Breathe, oh Lord. Come on, ask him. Ask him. Come on, just a couple more seconds. Breathe into me, Jesus. Come on, someone ask him, say, breathe into me, Jesus. Breathe into us, Lord. Breathe into us, Jesus. You are the air. You are the air I breathe. Oh, Lord, you are. You are the air I breathe. Oh, It's you that I see. Come on, lift your hands and say this. At the center of it all, it's you. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. Come on, lift your voice and say it. At the center of it all.
Peace 
Come on, come on, come on, play it. Shamarabarata. Hey, lift your hands, everyone, everywhere. Lift your hands and wave it. Give a wave offering to Jesus. Come on, come on, everybody, 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 everyone in this place. Come on, let your heart say it too. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Come on, lift your hands, wave it in the air. Say, sing. Join with the angels in heaven. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing Hallelujah, bless his name. Come on, come on, open your mouth. Come on, I said praise him, praise him. Come on, give him praise in this place. Come on, praise him in this place. Come on, come on. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Everybody say, there's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. Listen, listen, I'm going to start over. Behold, he comes riding on a cloud, shining like the sun. Come on, let me At the trumpet's call, lift your voice. Lift your voice. Uh, yeah, Jubilee. Out of Zion's hill. Come on, let me say Behold, say, hold. Trumpets call. Lift your voice. It's the year of Jubilee. Out of Zion's Hill. Let's do that again. You ready? There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. Everybody say, There's no God like Jehovah. Everybody say, Say, Say. 
Let's go. Riding on the clouds, shining like the sun. At the trumpet, at the trumpet, lift your voice. Can I go on an F? Yeah, yeah. David's a good dancer, don't you think? Can you dance like David? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap your hands one more time for the Lord. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will dance like David dance. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will dance like David dance. I will dance, I will dance, I will dance like David dance. I will dance, I will dance, I will dance like they I'm gonna ask you to just give me some calypso on that when the spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart I will dance like David dance you're ready to dance with me when the spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart I will dance like David dance I will dance I will dance I will dance like David dance I will dance 
will dance by day. Let me give you another one. You ready? When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will sing like David sang. Is there singers in this place? When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will sing like David. I will sing. I will. Come on, I don't hear you singing. Don't leave me up here by myself with my teeth. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing. Let me give you another one. Y'all ready? All right. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will clap like a big clap. He makes your hands for what? When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will clap like a upon my heart. I will move like David moved. Where's my movers? When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will move like David I will move, I will. Y'all not moving. Y'all look so stiff. <laughs> Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart. I will dance like David. Is there any dancers in this place? Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart. I will dance like David. Dance. Where's the dancers? Don't be shy. You try to look too cute, but you better dance like David did for Jesus. Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart. I will jump like David jumped. Hey! When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will jump like David. Everybody, everybody, jump, jump, jump. Jump, 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 jump. Everybody, jump, jump, jump. Now I see you. Come on, everybody, jump, jump, jump. Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone with this last one. When the spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will run like David ran. Oh, I'll make some room when the spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart. I will run when my You better join us. I will dance. Say that thing like your mama gave you to the Lord. I
shall shout a praise to Jesus in this house. Come on, clap your hands, clap, 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 clap. like you've been in church before. Are you ready to say? We will working out and praising God. This is how we do it when we praise. Are you ready this side? That's. Are you ready this middle side? The people in the back. You know where I come from. Sometimes when we're praising God. Now I'm not telling you to do it here. Because you don't say Pastor Stanley said. No, no. Sometimes when we're praising God, we have people, they're praising so much, they lift the chairs up on their heads. Sometimes people get on top of the chair and they're praising. Listen, we don't have insurance for you. I'm just telling you some testimonies. Sometimes pick up the Bible and they start waving it. Some people can't control themselves. Let's see if you can hang with them. All right. All right. Are you ready over here? Are you ready over there? The middle, you ready? Oh, the middle don't sound so good. The people in the back. All right. All right. Louis, 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 Louis. Let's go, Louis, 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 Louis. Let's go, Louis, 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 Louis. Let's go, Louis, 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 Louis. Lifted up, sitting on the throne of my life. You know, sing with me, say. Come on, say. Say you are holy. Say you are holy, holy, holy. Say you are holy, you are seated on the throne. Getting better. Hey! Say things are getting better. Things are getting better. I see the Lord. I see the Lord sitting high on the Say things, things are getting better. Things are getting better. Let's go, Louie. 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 Let's go, Louie. 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 Why? 
in those hands and show you express yourself unto God. Louis, 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 hit me. Louis, Louis, yeah, Louis, Louis, hit me again. Louis, 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 just having fun in God's presence. Louis, 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 Louis. I want you to do something now. I want you to break out your best dance room and start giving God all the praise. I'm gonna count to three, and you're just gonna let loose. You ready? One, two, one, two, three. Last go, last go. Uh, oh, you, you're looking at me. You're supposed to be dancing. Let's go. brothers and sisters. Welcome to Demonstration Ministry. Are you excited to be here tonight? Are you excited to be here? You could have been anywhere else, but you are here for the first day of our revival. God's secret heart. Amen. Amen and amen. We praise God on what you're going to receive tonight. So come hungry, come thirsty for what he's about to fill you up with. Amen. Amen. So tonight at 8, what well, tonight, uh, the first revival started at 8 p.m. And on Sunday, it starts again at 12 p.m. Bring somebody. Bring somebody, amen. What are you going to do? Bring somebody. Bless somebody. 
with Jesus. All right? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to take testimonies from um, the prophecies that you receive on Friday. And people of God, let me tell you how a testimony can help somebody else today. Because I remember when I first came here, I won't, I won't share my testimony right now, but I'm going to tell you because I shared it so many times. I remember when I got blessed financially, and I didn't know how it got paid, but it got paid, amen? Because Jesus is our provider, amen? So from the prophecies, I only, we only want testimonies from the prophecies from, from Friday, amen? So coming up here, you glorify your heavenly Father. You're not glorifying people, you're not glorifying yourself, but if, you, if he did it, do it again, amen? So who here has a testimony of either an increase, amen? What was that, an increase? Or financial, monetary funds, money, amen? So based on the prophecy from Friday, who here wants to testify and glorify what their Heavenly Father has done for them from Friday night's prophecy? Amen. Or maybe you receive favor. Oh, amen. We have a, a brother over here from last Friday, a testimony from last Friday. Amen. Okay, let's give it up for our brother. Amen and amen. So hold on, okay, as he here from his testimony from last Friday. Get yours ready. Amen? Let God smile as you glorify his holy name. If you sit on your testimony, that means it was nothing. Amen? Amen and amen. Hello. Uh, before I start my testimony, I would like to thank Pastor Jean and his wife and his kids. So I know you guys exactly what kind of pastor and what freedom that you guys have. So, so they have been doing a lot of things for me and Brianna and Gabriel. So if there's one thing my mom taught me is to be grateful. So I really thank you for Pastor Jean and his wife. They have been helping a lot, to be honest with you. So, I don't know what words that I can describe them. They're really good people. So, they really care for me and Brianna, Gabriel. So, and I would like to thank them and tell them that I love them. And I really appreciate what they have been doing for me and Gabriel and Brianna. Yeah. So you guys know my my story. I left Haiti in 2013. I had a student visa to go to Chile. So I met Chile, I met Brianna in Chile. So in 2000 uh, this year, so Brianna decided to do it. Because, because of the paper, she, did, she, did, she didn't have paper in Chile. So I had residence in Chile because I was studying there. It was, you know, easy for me, you know. And then, and then when I got to U.S. border, it was, you know, you guys know my, the, the story. It was really difficult for, for, for me and for Brianna and Gabriel. And then... They gave me your paper at the border. So the the back of the paper it said that I have to leave the country in fifteen days. So I, I didn't know that. I just I, I read the, the first page of the paper. I didn't know that. I was just waiting to get to the court. And then Pastor Jean took me to Mrs. Shelley office and then Mrs. Shelley was reading the paper and she saw that she she said she told me that did you read the paper? I said, no, I just read the first page. She said that they asked you to leave the country in 15 days. I said, okay. So when it comes about problems, you know, I, I can't face problems. Brianna is, she's tall than me. <laughs> yeah. So then I had to go to the court. When I got there, I had I had in mind that they would send me to, to Haiti. 
you know, when I got there, they said that they closed, they gave me a, an email. And then I emailed them to seek an appointment. So they gave the Anna appointment in 2023, and they gave me an appointment in 2022. And then last week, I was, I was watching CBS News. They said that ICE will start sending deportation paper for, for people that cross the border illegally. I said, okay. And then two days after, I received a paper. And then when I read the paper, it said that I have to go, I have to, go to the court last Sunday. To be honest with you, I was in shock. I was depressed. I could not eat. So when I when I'm you know when I have stress, I can't talk to anybody. I, even my mom, I can't talk to her. She, my mom, she was trying to me. I couldn't talk to her. So so, and then I called I called Mrs. Shelley and I asked her what I have to do. She said, let me call a lawyer. She, she called a lawyer. The lawyer said that the government doesn't work on Sunday. <laughs> I, called, I called a friend of mine, and he said that, to be honest with you, Claudia, if you go there, they're going to send you to Haiti because they don't work on Sunday. And then I keep, you know, calling people. They, they have been say, telling me the same thing. Do not go there on Sunday. I don't know what to do. Only one day left. I don't know what to do. I remember I was there on last 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 Friday when Pastor James before he start, he he was talking about faith and he said that if you don't give your testimony today, last Friday you're going to give your testimony. And then I remember I was you know depressed and I said you know what let me talk to Pastor Jim just to know exactly what I have to do. And then I talked to Pastor Jim. He said that, you know what, you have to go on Sunday. And he, Pastor Gina asked me, so can I go with you or do you have someone? I said, yeah, I have a friend of mine. And then in the morning, Sunday in the morning, I called my friend. He said that, Chloe, I'm so far, I can't go with you. I said, okay. He said, what I'm going to do for you, I'm going to pay a Uber for you. And then exactly, I went there in Milama. When I got there, they said that, where is your, the woman that you crossed the border and the, the baby? I said, oh, they are home. I don't know, but I didn't know that I have to come with them. They said that, well, you have to go and get them. I was in shock. I, I said, Lord, they're going to send me in Haiti for real. <laughs> yeah. So the Hoover left. So I don't know what to do. So there's one guy. He said, hey, what is your problem? You know, I talked to him. He said, I'm coming. And exactly, he went to Pastor Jim's house with me. And then we had Brianna when we went there. So we, when we went there, so waiting like for four hours, waiting, waiting. Pastor Jim and First Lady, they were worried because they were trying to call us. I did not have my phone. They have in mind that they sending us in Haiti. They, they were started crying for that. Oh. So, to be honest with you, my problem was because I had the GPS in, in my foot. I think that, oh, my, my God, this is, you know, this is slave. And then, Lord, if they send me to Haiti, they're going to laugh at me. They will say, oh, Cloudy, you were okay in Chile. You had job and you were studying so so what I'm going to do I was you know I was crying a lot so and then to be honest with you the GPS it takes like six months per one heat to 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 take it out of, of your feet it's only take me like two months to take the GPS on my feet I don't have it can you see that <laughs> So, what I want to say is sometimes we worry for our problems it's because we don't tell God that we don't talk to God about our problems. That's a reason a lot of time that we are worried for that. So, thank you.
Brother Joel, who helped me a lot. He came to help me there. And yeah. Thank you, Brother Kido. So he was there for me and on on Monday. So thank you guys for those who know exactly who are praying for me about that. Uh, so I really appreciate that and I love you guys. Thank you so much. Come on, let's up for that powerful testimony, amen. God, that's favor, amen. So do you did you hear about the favor of immigration upon his life? No story. So if you have an immigration issue, may say God favor me the same way you you favor Brother Cardell. Amen. Amen and amen. So we praise God. Now, do we have any first time visitors? If you are here for the very first time, we just want to show you some love. All we want to know is your name and who invited you. Amen. Amen. We have our beautiful sister over here. Amen. Your name and who invited you. Um, hello, everyone. Um, sister Jenny and my sister in law invited me tonight. And I'm so glad to be here. Come on, let's give her the show some love. Amen. Welcome, my sister. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Is there, okay, we have our sister over here. Your name and who invited you. That's it. That's it. My name is Rima. I was invited by my mom, and I'm excited to be here with you guys tonight. Come on, show her some love. Amen. Amen. That's everybody. Amen. We praise God. We have our sister over here. And amen and amen. Your name and who invited you? Praise the Lord. Good night. My name is Susan. I was invited by my cousin. I praise God. My daughter Ashley. Amen. Come on, show her some love. Amen. Welcome to Demonstration Ministry. Amen. Is there anybody else? Amen. Over here. Okay. Amen. 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 Hey. Name and who invited you? Welcome, my beautiful sister. Welcome to Demonstration Ministry. Amen. Amen. Is there anybody else? Anybody else? Come on, let's give Jesus a hand clap. The family is growing. Amen. And amen. There's nothing like having brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. That means we can pray together, worship together. Amen. And amen. Anybody else with one one last one take one last testimony? The prof based on a prophecy from Friday night. Friday night prophecy. La paix de Jésus avec nous. Béni l'Éternel. Béni soit l'Éternel. Si Seigneur. Merci Seigneur. Alléluia. Alléluia. Merci Seigneur. Bien aimé bien que me batte là vendredi me batte dans prophétie me de l'hôpital mais jodi a me pas l'hôpital moi bon ici a c'est pour me bailler bon dieu gloire alléluia moi bailler bon dieu gloire parce que me dans haïti depuis haïti me gagne une douleur me batte quand t'as venu mais me gagne une douleur qui dure pour moi me t'es obligé à acheter un ticket puis dit moi t'es obligé à acheter un ticket en urgence pour moi pour me t'es capable venir 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 c'est seulement mettre ma lettre en dedans c'est même venir c'est l'hôpital me me fait 4 jours l'hôpital le moi arrivé docteur dit moi c'est une inflammation que me gagne dans pancréas moi c'est et side effect médicament yo qui bon moi ni et puis il était fait me camper pour me pas continuer médicament ça c'est ça le docteur a dit après tout test yo t'ai fait c'est ça yo t'ai révélé bien aimé me pas connait qui ça lié qui ça le paye mais un seul bagaille me t'ai venir vivant me vinn la vivant et m'a toujours vivant dans nom Jésus bye bon dieu gloire pour ça et, et encore moi j'ai gagné un premier petit et petit moi il est malade en pile là le travail le saut de travail bien aimé ni bord gauche ni bord droite il va pas lever il pas capable de faire rien pour tête lui on y allé même dans dans trois et l'hôpital dans West Palm il dit il pas gagné rien là brelé il pas cachita il pas dormi il a brelé avec douleur lui même allé comme monde qui était conseillé là les Jackson les rue Jackson et Miami Là il rivé au dit il pas gagné rien. Eh bien c'est qu'on y a là tout l'hôpital ça il dit il pas gagné. Qu'on y a lui ouais, qui ça le gagné lui ouais, qui ça l'en a fait. Mais nous dit diable là c'est menteur que lui est. Nous pas croire dans lui-même. Mais qu'on y a au nom de Jésus pour étalter. Il ca camper il fait manger lui, il pas ça pas même gens. Moi pas bon Dieu gloire bien-aimé, bon Dieu fidèle, bon Dieu vivant, 
Bon Dieu a persécuté une en pile, mais je dis à encore, petite chez là l'hôpital, chez là pas l'église, non, qui est interné l'hôpital. Nous dit diable là au nom de Jésus, victoire là, c'est pour famille en que lié. Nous pas peur, nous pas peur, nous pas jamais peur au nom de Jésus. Let's give it up for Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Give it up as we welcome our very own son of the house, Pastor Bernard. Give it up for Pastor Bernard. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Let's all stand to our feet at this moment. Amen. It is with great privilege and honor, amen, that I present to you great man of God that's no stranger to this house. A man of God who is precise, amen, with the prophetic word. And one of the things that I love about him, not only is he loaded with the prophetic anointing, but he's loaded with the word of God. A man of God that could teach the word of God like none other. It is with great privilege that I to you guys, all the way from Ghana, none other than Prophet Madison. Let's put our hands together and let us receive him. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus if you are here. Can you put your hands together for the Lord, everybody? The way you are clapping your hands, there's no excitement in your clapping. If I were you, I'll add my voice and raise and shout and give the Lord a higher praise. Come on, you are shouting like you are defeated by the devil. If you know you are winner, come on, somebody. Open your mouth and scream like your voice is yours. Come on, if you know you didn't borrow your voice, I want you to clap your hands, lift your voice higher than you can, and give Jesus the mightiest shout. The Bible says that let the redeem of the Lord say so whom the Lord has redeemed from the hands of the enemy. If you know that you're on the Lord's side and nothing defeats you, but you are always on the winning side. Amen. When you see the devil, you feel like trumping on that devil and shutting that devil down. Is somebody here with me tonight? I want you to lift your both hands above your head. Clap it until you feel a vibration in your hands. Now lift your hands to the Lord. We want to worship him and give him the glory. Lift your hands and worship him. Tell the Lord how awesome he is. Magnify his name. Speak of his great works. Open your mouth and love the Lord. Baro Shele Bendo Lift your voice and hallow his name. Testify of his great works. Declare that he's a mighty God. Declare that there is none comparable to this God. The Bible said in whom we live and move and have our being. Lift your hands and magnify his. There is no like our God. Somebody lift your voice and magnify the Lord. We worship you, Lord. Come on, somebody lift your voice and magnify the Lord. You are holy. Somebody lift your hands and worship him. We say glory to the Lamb of God. Somebody lift your hands and worship him. Remember where he took you from. Remember where you used to be and where he has brought you tonight. Hasn't he been good to you? Many have died, but you are still standing. You are still standing. Some families are scattered, but yours is still in place. Lift your voice and thank him. Father to child. Lift your hands. 
spirit to spirit, lighted by your word. Lift your hands, let's worship him. With the bread of life, that's how I come alive. That's how I change my world. Lift your hands, worship him from the depth of your heart. Everybody, let's sing. Father to child, spirit to spirit. Worship in me. That's how I come alive. That's how I change my world. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Just breathe your name upon me. Let the Lord hear you tonight. your name oh God Desperate for God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King. Hallelujah. Everyone lift your hands to the Lord.
everybody open your mouth. Let's worship him. It's good to worship this God who loves us like no other. This is my daily bread. This is my daily bread. You're very. And I, everybody, let's go. And I. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Let me show you something about. Um, and I need everyone to pay attention to this. The songs that we sing or we minister to God, a lot of the times we, we don't comprehend what we sing or what we minister to the Lord. You see, when you are desperate for something, it's not spoken casually. Mm -mm. When you are desperate, when someone is desperate for something, he doesn't speak about it casually. He speaks with every passion, every zeal, every fire the person has been. The way you are telling God, I'm desperate for you, it's like you... You just want to tell him something just for him to leave your faith. Have you seen a man who is desperate for a woman before? Have you seen a man who is in love before? It doesn't matter what, what they said to him, he will still pursue that woman. Oh yes. The woman may turn him down 20 times. Look at Jacob, he worked 14 years because he was desperate for Rachel. You are not desperate for God enough. You are not. That's why many of us lose. Because you are not desperate for God enough. To what extent can you go because you want to get God? You want to lay hold of Him. That's why many of us, we play in the outer court. We can't get into the inner court. We can't go there. We can't get there. Because there's something that in that place you don't walk in there casually. You can't get there that way. You have to pass through certain levels before you can connect yourself to that place. So worship is not just lifting a song and, and just singing. No. Your heart must follow what you sing. Your heart, your mind, your soul. That's why the Bible says worship the Lord with all your might, with all your strength. Every part of you, he wants you to get it involved. Your mouth cannot be worshipping whilst your mind is somewhere else. It doesn't accept that. If you decide to plant your feet here, every part of you must be part of the place. Lift your hands. If you are saying, I'm desperate for you, you, he must feel something on your inside connecting with what's on his inside. That's when there can be a flow. Are you following what I'm saying? I, I'm a worshipper and I'm a prophet and I preach, but... When it comes to worship, I leave everything beside and I want to get closer to God. And I want to ensure that until I lay hold of him, I can preach. Because there's an atmosphere through which the power of God will flow. If I don't hit that atmosphere, we cannot move. We can move. We can move. You know, when you put two metals together and they rub against each other, there'll be friction. You know that? There'll be friction. But there's something you can introduce that you let two metals be put together and yet there'll be no friction. You know why the hinges on your door makes a lot of noise? Because a metal is rubbing against each other. But the moment you decide to put grease or you decide to add oil, the same door will open and no one will hear that the door open. Are you what I'm saying? The reason why there's too much noise and vibrations in your life with no results is like what you need to let out your bushel attire. What you need to let things work, you don't have. That's what I'm showing you. That's what I'm showing you. That's what I'm showing you. Listen, they, they, if, you, if you understand what worship, full worship really is, there are some things you don't need to pray about them. Oh, yes. When Jesus had a five loaves of bread and two fish, he didn't do anything. He only took it like this and said, Father, I give you thanks. 
And by the time he finished and they broke it, it could feed 5,000. Oh, yes. You have to understand. I'm going to show you something as I preach tonight. You must understand the dynamics of the spirit world we find ourselves in. There are accesses in the spirit, but there are ways to access the things. You must understand how to access them. And one of it is by knowing how to worship. God is not seeking for those who bring him money, even though money is good. God is not seeking for people who preach, even though preaching is good. God is not seeking for people who will dance, even though dancing is good. But the Bible said the Father is seeking for those who will worship. They are the people he's seeking. So if God can find worship on your inside, he wants to be that where you are. You know why he called David his friend? After his heart. God said, David is a man not after my, my money. Not after anything. But it's the man after what? Because David knew how to, how to weave his way into, God, into God's heart. David will do the wrong thing. He will get into his clothes and he begin to worship. And God turns away from what he wants to do. Because that guy knows how to move God away from his anger. Oh, glory to God. Oh, I can't wait to see David in heaven. I can't wait to see his face and shake his hands and, and ask him how he was doing what he was doing. Amazing. Lift your hands. I'm desperate for you. Lift your hands. This is the air I bring. Let's go after God one more time before I begin to preach. This is the air. Ah, glory to God. Your holy presence. Be desperate for God. Oh, in me. This is my daily bread. This is my day. This is my daily bread. Your very word, your very word. Spoke it to me, spoke it to me. Lift your hands, everybody, let's go. And I, I tell the Lord, I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate for you, God. And I, Me a microphone, please. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm desperate for you, Jesus. I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. I'm lost without you. I'm nothing without you. Oh, I'm desperate for you. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands and tell the Lord. Oh, oh, 
There's nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. Everybody say, oh, oh. Nobody like you, Lord. Tell the Lord there's nobody like nobody you. Like you oh, oh. Oh. There's nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Jesus. Everybody lift your voice and say, oh, 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 there's nobody like you, Lord, there's no God like you, Lord, yeah, yeah. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Oh, oh. Everybody open your mind and love the Lord. There is nobody like our God, no God, no human being. Nobody like you, Lord. Like you, nobody like you. Nobody like our God. He alone is worthy, so we say. Shakalibo kololo bo kapra di breke vele de bo kosa la daya. Bika kala ba shonda li aban tuni ni mi kala baya. Ripo kobo si e tele la bo kaba ni e bo si wa kali e tele. Shata la ba kaparu a di ba kan tele le be ya ya. Isha kapala da bo kaba li e be kaparu a ba ya da. I paru a sa pariye tele la bo kondo. Show one in the midst of your people, O God. Rabo kofi. Riba karaba shata la la ba kapari a da balada ya. Shege de 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 kapara rabo kofi. Imbra kadaya ba shobo loko daya. Impara gadiya tan talabadaya. Fengo kofi yanto barande kredisko rabo miyanda. Shaka la ba ni bo kosi a da la ba la ba di a ba lo lo bo shaya. Everybody open your mouth and worship him. Braka baladaya. Shatala baka tulie telele beka ladaya. Rapa kapara bako beke porwa taya. Shatala baka telele beke liya baladaya. Iko poro bako shatini bika para bako kondo. Shaka da bado brada bako be ya doja. Fe kapara bando lo bako barua de beka laya. Ikata balataya, braka parua pam palua tieteya. Thank you, Jesus. Bika para daba. Everybody, open your mouth. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Raba kata la ba shata la ba da. Rebe kada ba shata la 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 ba ba la ba ushele ya ba la ba. Raba kapa la la ba shita ba la ta ya. Ipa kapa ra ba shida ba kenebe. Ita la ba sha. Rapo pe. Ipa kada ya. Raba kapa ra da ya. Ima kula ba sha da ya. Raba pado bo kanda. Lift your hands and pray the Holy Ghost. Stand up yourself. Stand up yourself. Stand up yourself for the move of God. Makumbele gaya, raba kaparwa tindo kosa. Hey, kapara po baba kapala gaya. The power of God is here. Braka bala taya, lipa kumbele kapara gaya. The power of God is right here. Brako se, lipa kumbali atabala gaya. Liko lolo boko parwa tabada bataya. A parwa pepe de boko shanti ni rete. Somebody open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Reba kubaya ya. Shada laba kambi ya na laba kala daya. Liba kabara da bo sha kala bataya. Fele ke sopa po 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 sita da daya. Reka pantu malupe. 
Let your hand be seen, O God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we love you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hand, everyone. Every eye closed, lift your hands. There's a sweeping of His presence on us. Now, all instruments quiet. I want the room to be very quiet. Lift up your hands. Some of you, there is a sweeping of God on you right now. Right now. Some of your body will start shaking, some will start screaming. Some of you break down in tears because the power of God is coming upon you. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. It's coming upon you right now. In the next few seconds, into a minute, into three. It's coming upon you right now. Yes. It's coming. It's coming on you. Holy Spirit. Yes. Sweep over your people. Yes, 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 yes. Holy Ghost. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's coming upon you. Wherever you are, lift your hands. Lift your hands. It's coming upon you. Yes, there's a sweeping. There is a sweeping of the Holy Ghost right now, right now, right now. Yes, yes. Take it. Take it now. Yes, 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 yes. Take it now. Yes, take it now. Yes, yes, yes. It's coming upon you. Look at it. It's coming upon like fire. It's coming upon you. It's under your feet. Yes, it's under your feet. Take it. Take it now. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, right under. If you don't look at anybody, it's coming upon you. Receive your person. Yes, it's touching your tongue. Yes, yes. It's touching that tongue. Yes, yes. You are speaking in a new tongue. You are speaking in a new tongue. That's fire in your mouth. Yes. Fire. Yes, 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 yes. It's coming. Fire in your mouth. Yes, yes. Right now, right now. Fire in your mouth. It's coming. It's coming upon you. It's coming upon literal fire. It's coming upon you. There's a baptism round now, now, now. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Everybody, lift your hands. It's coming upon you. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, give it to them now. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Holy Ghost, give it to them. Give it to them. Give it to them right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Be filled, be filled now. Be filled right now, right now. Receive it now. Receive the touch of God. Yes, receive the touch of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes, it's coming upon you. Lay your hand on your head. Lay your hands on your head. Lay your hands on your head. Lay both hands. Those under the power, bring them, bring them forward. Those under the power, bring them forward. If you feel an unusual vibration around you, you couldn't stand on your feet. You felt something running through your body like electric. It was running through your system. You felt your hand was shaking. You felt your body under an unusual presence. Step forward, step forward. The rest of you, lay your hands on your head. There is a release right now. There is a burden that are about to be burdens are about to be lifted right now. Holy Ghost, those people that you have identified in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, right now, right now, I release the power. Take it, take it, take it now, take it now. The bedding of your family, the bedding of your finances, the bedding of your future is been lifted. Yes, 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 yes. Take it now, take it now. Yes, yes, yes. Holy Ghost, yes, 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 yes. It's coming upon you. Yes, yes, right now. It's coming upon you by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Rapaka parata balataya, filo sata taparutembra da bosaya, mikolo bosalataya. Close your eyes and lay your hands on your head. Rabo kodo bosalatalata, manteke vele kapandu belatalataya. Mika Palataya, the fire to bend that sickness from your system. That fire is here. Lay your hands upon your head. Every sickness in your body, hey, it's coming on the fire. It's coming on the fire. By the count of three, Holy Ghost, let those people, the enemy has afflicted with sicknesses and with diseases. Let the fire consume them now. Yes, number one, take it. Number two, take it. Number three, take it now. That fibroid is leaving you. That sugar diabetes is being swallowed up. That spirit of cancer, I curse you out of their body, out of their body. Paradabo Shalataya, Marum Pelecusatata, Impratatapo Kosala, 
In the name, bring them forward. Bring them, bring them, bring them closer to me. Bring all the people. Everybody who fell on their path, bring them, bring them to the altar. Bring them here. Bring them here. Bring them here. Bring them, bring them, bring them, them, bring, bring them forward. If you felt an unusual presence on you, you felt your body vibrating. Come, 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 come forward, come forward, come forward, come forward. Bring them here. Bring them closer. Let them hold your hands together. If, if you can, if it's allowed. But you can you, you just stand. Just don't hold your hands. Just stand. Just stand. Just stand. Maro And lift your hands. Bring them. If if you felt an unusual presence upon you, no matter where you were. You felt your body was shaking. You felt there was, there, there was some coldness upon you. You felt there was a release. There was some fire running through your system. I want you to come forward. I want to pray for you. There is a release of God on you tonight. I came that God will use me to be a blessing. I came to stir up something in the atmosphere. Narashon de Bokosia. Feladosha. If you're in front, lift up your hands. The angel is going to release something on you right now. Everybody's standing here. And to want all shares to get ready because it's going to be like fire. It's going to come upon them right now. It will move from the left to the right, from the right to the left, and from the front to the back. It's going to move right now. Angels of God, whatever you brought to deliver to this one by the power of the Holy Ghost, it's coming right now. When the angel releases it, you can't stand on your feet. You will take a full portion tonight. Holy Ghost, right now, by the count of seven, anyone standing in front of me, yes, let it begin from my left to my right, from my right to my left, from the front to the back, right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, one, receive it now. Take it, take it, take it. Yeah, yes, take it. Take it, two, take it. Three, take it, four, take it. Yes, it's coming. Five, take it. Six, take it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Take your portion. Take your portion. Take it now. Take it now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let them go back to their seat. Oh, tonight this place will be too exciting. The power of God, if you are clapping for the Lord, go ahead and do it. Oh, yes, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Stand on your feet one more time. Let me say this quickly before I preach. You can leave her when she's ready. She'll get up. You can leave it too. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Tonight, be ready for anything. There is no formula to the move of God. There is no formula to it. There is no formula to it. God does what He wants to do. There is no formula to His move. You can't box God. You know He's beyond that. Lift your hands. Say, my mind is ready. Shout it like you say, my mind is ready. My spirit is willing. And my soul will follow God's plan for my life. Say, I believe I am on my way to where I belong. Nothing is going to stop me. I will arrive and I will arrive on time in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands as I pray. Father, let your name be glorified. Terrify the devil even as we are edified in Jesus' name. I hear this song in the spirit. Lift your hands. Father, we love you. We worship and adore you. I hear this song. Glorify your name in all the earth. Glorify your name. Glorify Glorify your name in all the earth. Look at me, everyone. I'm going to pray.
pray for you in a few minutes. Sir, so I'm talking to you. I'll be praying for you in a few minutes. The Lord is going to deliver you from stroke. I'll be praying for you very soon. In fact, you're the first prophetic word God gave me. The first word God gave me. I'll be praying for you. You know, every prophet in the way he ministers, I'm a prophet who flows based on the songs I hear the angels sing in the spirit. When I hear them, I have to sing. If I begin to sing them, the wells are open for God to move. Every prophet in the way he operates. I operate based on what I hear the angels sing. If they sing, I sing. If they worship, I worship. That's what I do. So just understand how we flow. Everybody in the way God uses him. Take your seat. Let's, let's appreciate God for the angel of this house, Apostle Jean and the First Lady. Come on, the way... Let's stand to our feet and honor God for their lives, for the grace of God. Wonderful people. Is that all you can do? Come on. The apostle and the prophetess. Let's celebrate God for the grace of God upon all oh, glory to God. Wonderful people. Hallelujah. You know what? I keep telling people that you will never know how good your pastor is until you meet a bad pastor. Yeah. You will never know how good your pastor is until you meet a bad one. When you meet a bad one, you'll know that, ah, my pastor is good. Let's clap for him one more time. Let's celebrate Apostle Jean and the prophetess. Hallelujah. Let's also appreciate my good friend, Pastor Bernard. Let's celebrate God for, and all the leaders, every minister here, and all the instrumentalists, the workers, everybody, come on, celebrate yourselves for being here tonight. I appreciate all of you. Without you, we can't have church. Amen. So we, we, we value your presence here, and then we know God will do us good. There's an angel standing by the gentleman at the back, you, you, yes, you, there's an angel standing your right shoulder. There's an angel standing there while I'm talking. I'll be telling you what the angel is here for. There is a mantle, very strong mantle. I want to preach. I want to preach. But my eyes are open. But I have to preach. I'm a prophet of the word. I want to feed you, fill your, your spirit with the word. Then we top it up with the prophetic word. Amen. Yes, the angel is standing right there. I'm talking to you. Oshes, I want somebody to go to him quickly before all the things over there get scattered. And the angel Prakos. will be broken as well. Say broken. broken. Say break, break, break. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight is going to be great. It's going to be great. Hallelujah. I also bring you greetings from my senior pastor, Prophet Samuel, and also from my beautiful wife. Oh, I see you don't like me, so you're not clapping. Hallelujah. Let's go to the Bible. Let's go into the Bible. The theme for this um, few days revival is secret what? Hiding place. Secret hiding place from the book of Proverbs 18.10. We'll be looking at a few things from the Bible. But I'll be speaking to you about the name of Jesus. Our secret hiding place. Tell somebody the name of Jesus. Say it like we're in church. Say the name of Jesus. Say with power. Say the name of Jesus. Our secret hiding place. We'll take a couple of scriptures and then I'll begin to share the word of God with us. Proverbs 18.10. You all know that scripture already. You know that scripture already. So 
Let's go there. Mm -hmm. Can I get someone reading for us quickly? Who's a good reader here? Help me. Read us quickly. Anyone can read. Anyone can read. The name of the Lord uh -huh. is a fortified tower. Mm -hmm. The righteous run to it and are safe. Right. Shall we all read together as a church? Ready, go. One more time. Now, if you look at this, this scripture we have just read, it's, um, it's a scripture that is pregnant with many revelations. Say revelations. So now you are preaching with me. Say revelations. Do, do I have time to, to, to teach what I'm going to teach you tonight? Thank you. Now have your permission so I can flow. Now, understand that the kingdom of God has secrets. Okay? The kingdom of God has secrets. Every kingdom has secrets. Every nation has secrets. Now, in every, in every kingdom, and in, in every nation, there are informations or there are secrets which are called classified information. Now, the classified information cannot be known by everyone. Classified information are secret information that are known by certain kind of people because of the sensitivity of the information. So because of how sensitive those informations are, it cannot be given to everybody. Imagine if all of us knows everything about every one of us. When we show up in church, you won't want to talk to me. I wouldn't want to talk to you. So there are stuff about us that are classified that no one knows. The Bible says that the secrets of God are with them that fear him. And to them, he unveils his covenants. Now, you don't tell your secrets to everyone. There are people you share your secret. Why? Because, number one, you trust them. You can confide in them. You know them. You've tried and proven them. And so you know that when you disseminate this kind of information to them, they can keep it. And they can, they, they can keep their mouth shut on that information. And no one will ever get to know about it. Everyone who wants to walk with God or has desired to walk with God and be great in the kingdom must know how to keep secrets. Because God is a secret God. Oh, yes. God delights in secrets. And that's why the Bible said that if the princes of this world knew, they would never have crucified the Lord of glory. It was impossible for them to believe that God can show up in the form of a man. He dribbled the devil. Oh, somebody must hear that. And that's why God hides your life from the devil. That's why sometimes people don't understand you. They, they, can't, they can't connect with you because you are not meant to be connected to them. Oh, Jesus. The reason that imagine if God showed exactly who you are to people who hated you so much, they would have killed you. Joseph just told his family about his dreams, not what he has become. Come on. He only told them about his dreams, and they hated him so much because of his dreams. Hear this. It's not because of what he has become, but because of his dreams. Come on here. Wake up. Wake up to the word. Because of his dreams, some of you, because of the things that you say, people don't like you. Because there is no negativity around you. You don't tolerate negative words. Every time somebody speaks something negative, you shy away from it because you don't want that. Are you following me? And so because of that, some folks won't like you. But thank God you don't like me. Because I'm not meant for you. Mm, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. You must also know that sometimes God decides to hide us from people so that he can unleash us when the time is due. You know, I tell people that a baby is not born um, on the first day of the conception. But on the day of conception, the formation took place. Come on. So every time God starts something with you, you are already completing something you're already starting something already completed. Are you following what I'm saying? That baby that God is releasing in the minds of God or in the mind of God, it's already done. 
But it has to begin from somewhere. Your life is already completed in God. Nothing is going to stop you. That's why you made that confession that you will arrive and you will arrive on time because no devil in hell can stop your destiny. Say, I hear you. So, one of the secrets in God's kingdom are names. The scripture we read says that um, the name of the Lord. So, I want to talk about the name. I told you that scripture is pregnant with many things. I can talk about strong tower. I can talk about only that one. But I want to talk about the name. On Sunday night, on Sunday service, we'll talk about something else. Okay. But let's talk about the name. Because you must understand. Why is the Bible saying that the name of the Lord? The Bible never said the leg of the Lord. Never said the head of the Lord. Never said the hands of the Lord. But it said the name. Of the Lord. That means there is something about the name for which the Bible is saying that the name, hear this, the Bible never said a name of the Lord because when I, the Bible said a name of the Lord, that will be different. Come on, come on. If, if the Bible said a name, that would be different. But it said the name, that means there is no other. Oh, come on, come on. It means there is no other name apart from this name and if you can jump on your feet and clap and scream that name will defend you tonight you didn't hear me you didn't hear me I, 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 I didn't hear me I said that name will defend your family will defend your children defend your marriage defend your job defend you at immigration even if you have been put on deportation I came to tell you that name will show up and say no you are not going nowhere glory to God take your seat Take your seat. Let, let me take you further into what I want to share with you. You know, names are so critical that in Genesis chapter 2 verse 19, we see God himself making a move towards the man he's made in his image and likeness, the name of Adam. God goes to Adam and he presents the things he's made and God shows to Adam and says that, Adam, I want you to name them. God is, look at the scripture. Now the Lord our God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds of the sky. He brought them to the man to see what, what? Come on, talk to me. What, what? What name he will give to them. If God is not interested in names, he will not bring, I'm teaching you something tonight. He will not bring that man. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The angels are busy here tonight. I saw a baby between the two of you. Now, whilst I was standing here. Yeah, I saw it. Whilst I was standing here, I saw the baby. Something will happen here tonight, believe me. I said, God. Oh, glory to God. Look, if the back is choked, you have no space. You can even come and sit on the ground here. You can come and sit here. If the back is choked, you have no space. You can come and sit on the come and sit on the floor here. We welcome you. It's okay. Oh yes. One day Paul was preaching. The Bible said the whole place was choked. It was so choked that the people couldn't find space, and they lowered their friend through the roof. So if the place is find yourself somewhere, find yourself somewhere. The devil is a liar. <laughs> can we go into the word? So you see that God. Look at what God did. This is not a man working. This is God Himself. Pulling all the things he's made. Look at it, the wild animals, the bears of the sky. God pulled them and he brought it to Adam. Can you come? Joe, right? Joe? Stand here. This is Adam. God brought everything he's made and brought it to him and said, Name them. Name them. Names are so critical that God can't joke with it. I told you it's a mystery in the kingdom of God. When you understand what I'm going to share with you tonight, I'm, you can deal with anything in your life. <laughs> I am a I'm telling you. I'm telling you. There, there are some things you, you, you will change their destiny by the names you give to them. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. I'll tell you. I'll show you from the Bible that there are some names when they put on you, they have, they have destroyed your life. Yes. yes. That's why you ought to be careful about names because names are so dangerous. 
Hear me. Let me go deeper now. Names carry mysteries. Write it down. Write it down. Names carry mysteries. When you see a name, don't just look at it as a name. It carry a mystery, which I'll be breaking down to you. When God brought the animals, he said, Adam, name them. And it surprises me that God is looking at the man he's made. God doesn't want to get involved. And he says, Adam, name them. And every name Adam gave them, that has been their name till now. That's what's in the Bible. Look at it. Look at it. Can you see it? Oh, come on. Look at the scripture. He brought them to the man to see what name he would call. And whatever the man called. So whatever you call the thing is what it becomes. Follow me carefully. Look at the scripture. And whatever name the man called each living thing, that was its name. Not that is his name because he's done it already. So if, he, if Adam saw this and called this one a thief, it remains. If he saw this and said this is gold, it remains gold. Whatever name he gave to it, God didn't say, why did you give this one? Mm -mm. Some of you have given names to things. And God is not changing them because he's not responsible for them. You are responsible. You give the name. Take your seat, Joel. Take, it. Take your seat. <laughs> I want to show you something. You, are, you, you have given names to certain things. And the same things you have named have come back to hurt you and to harm you. Why didn't God change the name? Every name Adam gave to it, that was the name. God never changed it. Names in themselves, I told you, they carry mysteries. And everyone must understand the mysteries of names so that you can maximize the benefits that comes from it. Or else, you will forever live your life asking questions about what happened to you. Whereas what is happening to you has been caused by somebody by virtue of a name that was put on you. I'm wondering why when Adam said this was a dog, God didn't change it. Because he has been given so much power and authority by God that any name he gives, God says, that's it. Hear me. There are some things in your life that God does not get involved unless you ask him to. Oh, help me, Jesus. <laughs> there are some things in your life that God does not get involved. Because that is within your domain. Hear me. I tell people all the time, until the, until the supernatural comes into play, the natural must work. There are some dimensions where the natural takes effect and it works. And there is another level where the, 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 the natural has limitations, where the supernatural is supposed to take over. So until the time comes for the supernatural to take over, the natural must be working. So when the natural is not working, then it means that something else has taken hold of it. That is when you need the supernatural to come into force, to disengage the satanic force. Tonight, if you can clap your hands, whatever is trying to stop your destiny, I employ the supernatural hand of God over your destiny. Thank you, Jesus. Don't worry, we'll get somewhere. We'll get somewhere now. Get somewhere now. It will bless you. It will bless you. So, in Numbers chapter 12, verses 8, you will see that God was speaking to um, a man by name Moses. And this Moses was the same person that God said, I speak to him face to face. Other versions will tell you God speaks to him mouth to mouth. God speaks to Moses that way. And I came to look at critically who Moses was and realized that Moses was schooled very much in the linguistics of the Egyptians. So Moses knew exactly what names mean to the throne of Pharaoh. Because the, the throne of Pharaoh, it is the throne name that is called the Pharaoh. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? The throne name is called the Pharaoh. It's like when, when anybody becomes a president of this great nation, the person is called president, then the name comes. 
Do you understand? No matter what your name is, the president comes first. So president is the title that is placed upon anyone who becomes the first gentleman of the country or the nation. So in the same way, in that time also, anybody who becomes the king is called the pharaoh. So it's a name that is placed upon the person who sits there because they understand the mystery of names. And they know that any name that is placed upon the person has certain things that comes with it. I want to share those things with you really quick so that we can learn something. So when God came to Moses and God needed to send Moses back into um, into into to Pharaoh to go address in Exodus chapter 3, you will see that Moses was telling Exodus 3 verses 13 to 15, you will see Moses was talking to God. He was saying that, God, I know you are sending me back to these people to go redeem them. But when I go to Pharaoh and he asked me, he asked me, because he knew that names are so critical and he knows what names represent. So if I tell him that these people must go and he asked him that, who sent me? What am I going to say? Moses knew there was a mystery in names. So he was asking God, what name do I tell Pharaoh if he asks me? Look at what he says. He will ask me, now, who is the name of that God? What shall I say? He said, then what shall I, I tell them? Next, next verse, next verse, 14. God said to Moses, look at what God told him. I'll take you further. God said, this is my name. He said, this is the name, next verse, this is the name I shall be called for all generations. That's my name. So God has a name, and that name, he doesn't lose it. It is a name he has throughout all generations. It tells you that names are so important, so much that God does not want to lose his name. And he's telling you that this is my name, all generations. So every generation that comes up, they will know that I have a name. The major problem in the life of Jacob was his name. When he fought with the angel, it was not the journey he was embarking on that the angel came to fight with him. No. It was not because he slept on the stone. No. It was because he carried the name that was troubling him. And because of the name that he bared, something ought to change concerning him. And the angel came to him and the angel started addressing the name that he had. Hear me? The name you carry or the kind of name you bear will determine how you'll be addressed or recognized. Yes. 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 The name you have will determine how you are recognized. There are some names when they are mentioned that give recognition. Oh, yes. You know you have some friends. There are some names in this country. The moment those names come up, the name by themselves can give you an employment. The names by themselves will open doors. The name by themselves will let people stand and recognize and clap and appreciate them. But there are some names when they mention, it's unheard of. Nobody knows it. Nobody knows it. There are some people, if they, take, if they write a note for you and take you, take you to this office, if you walk into that office, you'll be given protocol. You, you, you will jump through every line and whatever you are required, it shall be done for you. I pray that the name of the Lord will defend you. Come on. I said the name of the Lord will defend you. Somebody shout amen. I'm taking my time. I don't want to preach like my normal self. I want to take my time to teach you this because we need to understand and begin to pray. So that when we grab this and you begin to pray, you will deal with some things in your life. In, in, in Psalm 24, something very powerful happened there which I want us to, to discuss. Because you and I must come to a place of knowing that the name of the Lord is so powerful. Let me take you deeper now before Psalm 24. Before we come to Psalm 24, let me show you what then is in the name. Because we have to know what's in the name. If the Bible said the name of the Lord is a strong tower, then we must know what is about the name. Because what makes the name a strong tower? Please understand. What makes the name powerful? So much that when the name is mentioned, something happens. When the name is mentioned, the devil trembles. When the name is mentioned, demons cannot withstand. When the name is mentioned, your family devils will release your womb for you. I said when the name is mentioned, they will relieve your marital case. When your name is mentioned, they will release your job. Are you here tonight? When the name is mentioned, they will release your marriage. When the name is mentioned, they will release your money. And tonight in the name of him who died and arose on the third day, I prophesy to those who can clap and shout and scream, 
your miracle is about to be hey, about the I said your miracle is about to be delivered you are coming out of shame you are coming out of poverty you are coming out of obstruction you are coming out of every dungeon every pit the enemy put it away you are be clapping and screaming and praising God because my miracle is in the name Everybody take like one, one dollar, two dollar to about ten or fifteen dollars. Put it on the altar right now. Everybody carry something. Ten dollar, it could be five dollars, it could be one dollar. Come quickly, drop it at the altar whilst I'm preaching. Something is about to hit your spirit. As I'm preaching, you can drop it. It can be one dollar, it can be two dollar, it can be five. Drop it at the altar. You just leave it there. Just drop it there. Just, just drop it there. Something is about to be released. I'm telling you, this mighty name called the name of Jesus. It must some of you as you are dropping it your documents are being released some of you as you are dropping it the marriage is happening some of you as you are dropping it a new job is coming for you some of you as you are dropping it every financial difficulty that operation is cancelled some of you as you are dropping it, your finances are changing Makola Tabahaya I said some of you as you are dropping you are moving to the next level next dimension a new level of breakthrough a new level of God's favor Power is coming to you. What is in the name? What is in the name? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. There is something about the name. There is something. I'm about to show you something that will shock you tonight. What is in the name? The name of the Lord. Then you ask yourself, what is in this name? That when they mention demons tremble. You are here. You shout in the name of Jesus and that witch in your village is running away. You didn't hear what I said. Somebody rise on your feet and shout, Jesus! Ah, you are not shouting enough. Somebody lift your voice and shout, Jesus! Take your seat. The enemy wants to strike you and you shout, Jesus! And they split into two. God strikes them out of your life because there is something about the name. I am I said there is something. Up, hear me? No disease, no sickness, no abokosa. Whether it is leukemia, cancer, whether it is arthritis, whatever it is, at the mention of I said at the mention of the name Jesus. They will live your life. And tonight, as I declare the name Jesus, sickness is living your body. I said it's living your family. It's living your house. It's getting a yellow color time. I slash them out of your body. In the name of the Lord Jesus. What is in the name? What is in the name? There is something in that name. Why this point down. Names, write it down. It will bless you. Names, Kaporo Simbalotaya. Glory to his name. Miko Dobo Kodosaya. Names, they carry personalities. Names. Names have personalities resident in them. Can I explain to you? <laughs> this is the bottle. Huh? How do you call this? No, 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 no. Good. Now you're a good student. You nearly failed. What's this? But this Fiji has something inside. When you mention Fiji, it is a name. But that name has a content. Uh, can you see this? What's the content in this Fiji? Talk to me. What is it? So every name has a content, has a personality resident in it. The fact that you are not conscious of it does not mean it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. 
Jacob met Laban. In that family, there was something resident in the family that does not allow firstborns, sec maybe secondborn or lastborns to marry before the first. That was what was resident in the family. Whether you knew it or not, when time comes and you want to move, it will say, no, you can't pass this way. But this is not how things work here. So he labored for seven years. Excited. He felt he was going to take Rachel home. Mm -mm. He was swindled. Because what was resident in that family they didn't allow that. How many times having to try to do what you want to do? Some of you have tried many times to build something back home. It never works. Check into your family very well. Nobody builds anything. You are trying to tread on a certain path. But you don't understand what controls that path. And you are walking on it. And many things are trying to stop you. You have to sit back and read through the lines. And see what is trying to inhibit your movement. So that you can kick it out of your way. In the name of Jesus. To the power of the Holy Ghost. As you are clapping your hands. Every resistance is falling flat. You didn't hear me. I said every resistance is coming down flat. Look at me. Hear this. So names, they carry personalities. And personalities cannot be separated from the name. You can't separate water from this Fiji. Because that's what it is. You can't separate it. If you separate it, it's no longer Fiji. It's water on itself. You can't separate it. So when a name is mentioned, when you mention the name of Jesus, <laughs> do you know what shows up? Oh, glory to God. I'll break it down for you to understand. When you mention the name of Jesus, the heavenly host shows up. You know why it's called Jehovah Sabaoth? It's the Lord of hosts. When we say, the reason why sometimes we, those names that were made, they, 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 they saw God move in that dimension and that was the name they gave to him by the experience they had. Jehovah Sabaoth means that the Lord of hosts. When we say the Lord of hosts, he holds the moon, the stars, the galaxies, everything you see in the atmosphere. What you see and what you do not see, he is their host. He holds the sun in place for the sun not to fall. He is the one that holds the sun. The sun don't fall. The moon don't drop. The stars don't come down. He holds them in their courses. So when you say the Lord of hosts, what you are actually saying, when you are in a battle with the devil and you say Jehovah Sabbath, do you know what you are doing? It means you have called the moon, the stars, you have called the sun, you have called the wind, you have, you have employed all the elements, including the ground you are standing on, because God is the host of all of them. And if God hosts everywhere, where would the devil stand? You didn't hear what I said, you didn't get what I talked about. Do you understand what I just said? What we say, he is the Lord of hosts. Everything God ever created, he hosts them. He is the owner of all of them. So when you say the Lord of hosts, what you're actually saying is that you are calling the one who is the owner of all things. So when he shows up, the devil doesn't own anything anymore. The weapon in the hands of the devil, everything belongs to God. Everything the devil wants to lay hold on to come fight you, God is the host of it. So when you invite him to show up, the devil, oh, Yabalatala, the devil has no place to stand. He has no place. That is why you must know the name and use it. That's not the name. When the devil tells you, you hear a voice saying, I will kill you, you will die. Then you say, in the name of Jesus, I shut this voice. You, you declare. Hear me. Every time you mention the name of Jesus, write this point down. The integrity of God is at stake. Peter and John said, such as we have, in the name of Jesus. You know why? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they said, King, we are not careful to answer you in this. Even if our God does not deliver us, we will not bow. Do you know why? Because these people, they know the integrity of God cannot fail. You know why you are afraid? 
You know when the doctors tell you something, you go home crying and, and, and weeping. You don't want to eat again. You are losing weight even though you are not on diet. Uh, you know why that's happening to you? Because you don't know God's integrity. You don't know about him. Rise up. If, if you have ever, hold my hand. If you have ever walked with me, then every time I hold your hand, I never leave your hands. And somebody comes and tells you that I'll leave your hand. Would you believe? No. Why? That's it. You have never met God. You haven't walked with him well. So you don't know he's able. You don't know he never fails. You don't know no matter what happens, he will surely show up. Even in the midst of your sin, if he wants to rescue you, he will come for you. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. You didn't hear what I said. I said he will even come and rescue you. Oh, yes. He never gives up on anyone. Never. When you mention the name of Jesus, the integrity of God is at stake. The Hebrew boy, they said, we will, King, we, will, we are not careful. He said, even if God does not rescue us, we will still not bow. And God said, who are these guys who are challenging me so much? Ah, David shows up in the battleground and he tells Goliath, you come against me with your spear, with your javelin, with your sword, but I come against you. The guy who is talking has no weapon in his hands. He's got only some stones. That's what he has. A catapult, that's all he had. That's all. He didn't have anything. But the man he's talking to, he has been fighting since his childhood. Six fingers, six toes. And all his brothers are warriors. They've been fighting from day one. But look at him. He said, I come against you. Not in my name. But he said, in the name he said, of the God of the armies of Israel. Malataya. Oh, glory to God. You know, you, you know what David did? David angered God to strike the man. Listen to the words of David. He said, I come against you in the Lord God of the armies of Israel. He didn't end there. He said, whom you have defied. <laughs> Can you imagine this? David has a way of, of arousing the anger of God. And when he began to, oh, you're salata. When he began to do this, God said, I will teach this, this giant a lesson. The way David spoke, God says, no, my power must be released. Something must happen. That's why sometimes when the devil strikes you so hard and you wake up in the morning, you lift your hands and begin to worship God. God says, no, the way this son, this daughter of mine is worshiping me, I must do something about the issue. Is somebody here with me? God must say, I must do something about this case. I must be at the law court. God must say, I must talk to the immigration lawyer. I must speak to him very well about my ayabo satire. Yay! So, what about Laba Tala Taba? You know this, God? When Jacob, hear this, when after Jacob met the angel and Jacob left, when he left Laban's house, even Rachel stole the father's gods and sat upon it. See what God did. Laban wanted to strike him, but in the night, God sent an angel to Laban and told him, when you meet Jacob, be careful you don't touch him. You don't know this God. Hear me. God can speak to that judge who is working on your case. Let me stop preaching. Let's go home. Hear me. I said God can go to him in his bedroom and warn him that that lady's case you are handling. When you get to the court and she shows up, dismiss the case. Let her go free. Are you here at all tonight? You don't understand what I'm talking about. Hear me. Wait until it comes to knock at your door and you understand what I'm sharing with you. You know this God. That's why I'm crazy about him. That's why I preach with every fiber of my being. Because I know he never disappoints. I'm talking to you. His integrity is a stake. Can you imagine these three guys telling the king, we will not bow, we won't bow, we don't care about your fire, put us in, we'll go. And God is watching them. You will think they are crazy. You, that's why sometimes people think you are crazy. Because they don't know what you know. <laughs> I said they don't know what you know they, they got no idea about what you know about God 
So when you come to church and you are dancing, they don't understand because they don't know where you have been. When you come to church, you feel like screaming on top of your voice. They don't know where you have been because you know that, oh, ya balatala haya. You know that if not for God, you wouldn't have been here tonight. Do I have some crazy people who can jump and scream and thank God and give God a higher praise because they know their life because God kept them alive. Time the name of Jesus is mentioned, the fullness of God shows up. God shows up in a place. The devil has no place. If you like, mention the name of Jesus and see. Let God open. I see what happens. The Bible said, at the mention of the name. At the mention of the name. Until the name is mentioned, the devil can mess up. What I say, I said, until the name is mentioned, cancer can dominate you. Until the name is mentioned, leukemia can be comfortable in your house. I said, until the name is mentioned, Satan can put his seat in your bedroom. But when the ayaboko I said, when the name is mentioned, the devil's seat will become vacant in your room. You didn't hear what I said. You didn't hear what I said. I said, when the name Jesus is mentioned, every demonic seat will be empty because they can't occupy the seat at the mention of that name. And tonight in the name of Jesus, I mention that glorious name, Jesus, the only son of the living God. I declare every demon upon your house is moving out. Every demon dominating your family, confusing your children. They are leaving you now. Somebody shout now. Somebody shout now. When the name Jesus is mentioned, the power of God is unleashed. I told you, Peter and John, they said, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Power proceeded from them because they have mentioned the name of Jesus. Hear me? The name of Jesus is power. When that name is mentioned, I don't care how long the sickness has sat upon you. Tonight, it will leave you and come back no more. That was the weakest amen I've ever heard. I said, that was the weakest amen I've ever heard. Once the name is mentioned. Look at Philippians 2, 8 and 10. You see there. At the mention of the name from verse 10. Now let me even go back a little bit. Verse 8 says, Therefore God has exalted him to the highest place. Hear me. There are names. But his name is the name. You, you, you missed that. There are kings. But he is the king. Uh, you didn't hear that one. I said there are lords. But he is the lord of lords. So let them parade themselves as the lords of the earth. But when the lord of all lords shows up. They will all become small boys. I'm telling you, they become small boys. Unless he doesn't show up. But when he shows up, listen, when God shows up in a place, nothing can contain him. I'm telling you. Let the devil fool around. Let the devil mess up. But when God shows up in a place, I'm telling you, that is why you are too much for the devil to handle. You know why? Because look at your, your cute self. Look at how you look like. You are able to contain him. You hear what I said? If you heard what I said, you understood what I said, you'll be screaming by now. Let me say it again. Maybe you missed the first one. Hear me? I said, no one, you see, God is so great that no, no place can contain him. But in as much as he's so great, he decides to tabernacle himself within you. Uh, he didn't hear what I said. So, hear me. When you show up anywhere, you are like God himself walking into a place. Ah, I feel like preaching here. From tonight, when you walk into any place, don't see yourself as Rose. Don't see yourself as Joel. Don't see yourself as Daniel. See yourself as the one representing God. And when God walks into a place, the devil must check out. Sicknesses must walk out. Diseases must check out. All forms of limitations must be broken. Somebody rise and begin to walk like God is walking. Rise and begin to walk like God is walking. Begin to walk like God is walking. He's Taking territories, 
He's dominating. He's ruling. He takes cover. He rules. He reigns. His name is Jehovah. That's his name. That's his name. That's his name. I love it where Paul said greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world so when I show up anywhere I know that I am greater than that devil glory to God I know I am greater than that disease I know sickness can dominate me I know poverty is under my feet I know that sicknesses can locate me I know that limitations are broken wherever I go things are working for me things are getting better every day I know I'm rising from glory to glory from power to power from riches to riches somebody rise on your feet jump and give the Lord give him a praise we are talking about the name of Jesus the name of the Lord is a strong tower may the name defend you may the name fight for you may the name redeem you may the name rescue you may the name open a door for you may the name release grace upon your name That are the main the Bible said verse 8. Look at that. Let's go to verse 8 quickly. Verse 8. Or verse 9 of Philippians 2. Look at the scripture. Are you there? Help me, help me, help me. Look at that. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place. Oh, glory to God. No one can get to the highest place unless God. You see, God exalted. Not the devil can take you there. There's a place in life only God can take you. Look at that. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place. Look at that. Look, look at what is coming. Oh, I love this one. Look at what is coming. Look at what is coming. And gave him. Uh, look, and gave him what? Uh, I was thinking the writer would say, and gave him a name. But he said, no, 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 no. He gave him the name. Oh, glory to God. I, I am shut up tire. The next time somebody says, tell the person you carry the name. Tell the person you bear the name. Tell the person you are called by his name. You have the name. You know what? David was so confident. David said, I will walk through. Come with me. Come with me. David said, I will walk through. He never said, I will sit. He never said, I will sleep. What did he say? I will walk through. Tell somebody, be careful how you judge me. I'm only walking through. I ain't sleeping there. I ain't sitting that day. That's not my place. I'm only walking through. He said, I will walk through the valleys of the shadows of death. He said, I will fear no evil. Why? Because I've got the name. Tell somebody, I've got the name. Tell somebody, I have got the name. Tell somebody, I have got the name. He is my God and he is with me. He's with me. David said, the valleys of the shadow of death. But I said, me? I'm not afraid. There's a song by Brooklyn. I've forgotten the words of the song, but it, says, it goes like this. I'm not afraid of the darkness. Who shall I fear if God is for me? What shall we say to these things? I'm not afraid anymore. It's a song by Brooklyn. You can go look for it. David said, when I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, what did he say? Why? Ah, come on, talk. He said what? Because what? Because what? Because the Lord is with me. You have the name. You will walk through it. Through it all. Through it all. Lift your voice, everyone. I've learned to trust in Jesus. Lift your hands and worship him. Sing and make the devil mad that you are not afraid anymore. Through it all. Sing to the glory of God. Through it all. I've 
have learned to depend through it all through it all lift your hands everybody sing like you mean what you're singing word one more time through it all everybody lift your voice and sing to the Lord through it all I've learned to trust in Jesus I've learned to trust in God through it all through it all through depend upon his word. Take your seat. Let me close you with these. Ah, isn't the word of God sweet? Come on. Isn't the word of God sweet? Amazing. Glory to God. You know why I love to preach? I love the word. It's like fire in my bones. When it gets into you, I'm telling you, nothing surprises you. Nothing moves you because you move everything. The next thing, let me, let me, let's finish what we're reading. Let's finish it. Let's finish it. Go back there, verse, verse, verse 9. Verse 9, yes. Quickly, quickly. Philippians 2 9. Quickly, quickly. Let's finish that. Let me give you three more points and then we can begin to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Therefore, God has exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above. So, there are names below. Come on. Mention something in your life and tell that thing you are under my feet. Mention, mention something. Something you want to, you want, you don't want to see in your life no more. Mention that thing. Tell it you are under my feet. You, tell, tell that name you are below. You are below. Look at that. And gave him the name that is above. So, there are names in ranks. In authority, but his name is above every other name. Next verse, next verse, verse 10. Look at that. Look at that. That ah, I love this. That at the name. Do you know what it means? This means there is a spontaneous, immediate reaction. No, I tell people this name is better than the rapid response unit. Oh yes, oh yes. Look at this. The Bible said at the mention of the name. I wish you have eyes to see. Hear this. When that name is mentioned uh, let me tell you something. This verse means that recognition, respect, what again? What 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 adjective again is there? Reverence is not given to any other anymore because at the mention of the name, every it doesn't matter who you are. Look, when the boss is in town, everybody's in order. Yes. When he steps down, every everything must align itself. No matter what the world does. When the time comes and the king of kings shows up, oh, glory to God. They will know their levels. They will know they are small people. Oh, yes, that is God. When God shows up, says every knee bow. Look at that. There's no negotiation for that one. Every knee, you, have, you must bow. You have to bow. They won't tell you, but the, the, by, by the greatness of the name, when it is mentioned, you will go down. Have you seen children messing up before and they see their daddy coming? Everybody aligned. They will drop their toys. They will drop everything they have and they will start going back trying to hide. That's what it is. The boss is in town. When God shows up, sicknesses will leave you. Did you hear me? I said poverty will leave you. 
all kinds of backbiting and the shame, they will live your life. Look at that. Look at what the Bible says. In heaven and on earth. And under the earth. Ah. That's why I told you, when God shows up, the devil has no place to hide. No, tell me where the devil go. If he decides to go up, the, the king himself is there. If he goes, if he comes on earth, the name is still there. If he goes under, oh glory to God. Uh, now you are clapping, now you are getting the message. If he goes under the earth also. Let me give you these few things that we close. The next thing that happens when the name is mentioned, the names carry nature and identity right now. Your identity has to do with your conformity and the responses that comes with it. Every nature comes with a certain kind of conformity. When every nature has a certain form and that form is aligned to things and once it is aligned to things also, there are responses. So when a name is mentioned, there are certain responses that comes. The first response that comes is that when names are mentioned, there are spiritual activations. Write it down. This is where I'll talk for five minutes. When a name is mentioned, there are spiritual activations. Now, all the scripture we read from um, Philippians chapter 2, okay, all of it down to verse 10, the things you saw happen, there are spiritual activations that happen when the name of Jesus is mentioned. So when the name of Jesus is mentioned, there are spiritual activations that goes on in the realm of the spirit. It happens, whether you are conscious about it or not, it happens. Yes. When you mention Jesus' name right now, something has happened, but you never saw it. A miracle just happened for somebody, but you never saw it. The one who said amen is taking that blessing. I said a miracle just happened for somebody, you never saw it. Now in Luke 1.17, you will see that the Bible said, and John will come in the spirit and power of Elijah. Now that tells you that names carry spirit and power. Because John came in the spirit and the power of Elijah. So I'm telling you that when names are mentioned, look at, look at um, 1 Samuel 25, 25. There was a man by name Nabel. Look at it from the Bible. Look at it from the Bible. Leave this one. Let's go to 1 Samuel 25, 25 quickly. I'm closing now. I have just five minutes. So that we pray. Quickly. We are having our Black Friday here. We're right here. Glory to God. What I'm giving you is the best discount you can ever get. This one. This and this one, when it stays with you, it can't leave you. you. It stays with you forever. Look at 1 Samuel 25, 25. Look at that. Look at, let's read together. Go. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Everyone louder. Let's go. Please pay no attention, my Lord. Uh -huh. To that wicked man, what? Nabel. Uh -huh. He is what? He is what? He is what? And what is his name? His name means what? No, no, you don't leave it, you see. So, even the name you bear determines what goes before you. Can you see in the scripture? Can you see it? His name means what fool and fully goes with him. Can you see it? Oh, can you see this one? When the name of Jesus means the power goes with him, anointing goes with him, breakthrough goes with him. But if your name is called Nabel, you are called a fool, not you, because you can't be. Uh, he says that fully goes with him. Foolishness leads him. Whatever he's done, he does his foolish. Look at the book of Corinthians, First Chronicles, I think chapter 4, when you look at the, the story of um, Jabez. Okay, look at Jabez. The mother named him Jabez because he bore him in pain. So every time you are mentioning Jabez, you are calling pain. When you mention, that's what you're, that's why I told you, when names are mentioned, try and find out what is the meaning of your name. Please. Everybody go and find out. Everybody find out. When you leave here tonight, Sunday, everybody write the name, your name, and the meaning of your name. We'll put it at this altar. We'll pray on it. Any bad results happen in your life as a result of the name that you have, heaven in the name of Jesus will change it. Yeah. Right. Listen, if, if, if names don't have repercussions, then there wouldn't have been the need for the angel to change the name of Jacob. Yes. If it was okay, then heaven wouldn't have been interested in changing that name. So, don't be sanctimonious. 
Because some of you, all your trouble is your name. You can see from the Bible. Look at that. It says, Folly is his name. And it says, Fool is his name. And folly goes with him. So as he's walking, foolishness is with him. He will have foolish decisions, he will have foolish, foolish company. Everything he does is foolish. That's what is going with him. Look at Jabez. He's causing pain everywhere he goes. He doesn't understand why pain is coming. If you are doing something good, if you have a good company and Jabez comes into that office, pain will start entering that office because he comes with it. I told you, names have spiritual activations. That's why when the name of Jesus is mentioned, demons bow because the name activates some power they cannot stand. Yes. If you are a witch, you know what I'm saying. Yes. When the name is mentioned, they can't stand. They cannot. They can't stay. They want to leave. They want to leave. They want to leave. Sometimes some friends who don't want to talk to you, they've seen so much fire around you, they can't stand your fire. So when you when you show up, they want to leave. They want to leave. Activations. I'm showing you things that happen. Spiritual activations. It happens. So I mentioned the name of Jesus here. And before you realize, one of your aunties has just got stroke in the village. You know why? They came against you by night. But when you mention the name of Jesus, the hand of God just hit them like that. Oh, somebody must see what I'm saying. It just struck them like that. And by the time they woke up the next morning, their hand couldn't move anymore. Because stroke has hit them. That's why you must believe in the name and use it. Yes. Let me give you a final word. John 14, 13. You will see that the name of God or the name of Jesus gives us unlimited spiritual supplies. That's why Jesus said, give it to us. John 14. Uh -huh. Can you all read it? Everybody go. Uh -huh. Hey, look, take your time. And I'll do what? And I'll do what? Mm -mm -mm. And I'll do what? Stop there. And I'll do what? Uh huh. And I'll do what? See what the Bible is saying? The name of Jesus is bring spiritual supply. Look at the scripture. And I'll do whatever you ask in my name. It means the name of Jesus gives us access to spiritual supply. Write it down. Spiritual supply. Jesus is saying that whatever you ask the Father in my name. That name is not an easy name. The name of Jesus. That is the name that carries the blood. That's why demons fear the name. Hear me. If you are here and you don't have a relationship with Jesus, tonight you must have a relationship with him by force. Yes. But you are missing out. I'm, missing out. I'm closing in a minute. I'm missing out. That's the name. Whatever you ask the Father in my name. In my name. It means that the name of Jesus is the door. When you mention the name, the door opens for you. If you read Psalm 24, the scripture says, which you hold on with it, it says, that Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. That the king of glory shall come in. When the name Jesus is mentioned, do you know ancient doors? The doors that resisted your father, resisted your great grandfather, the, the mega door, the blessings that were supposed to open, that did not open. When the name Jesus is mentioned, ancient doors open. Look at it. Look at that. Ancient doors that the king, he didn't say a king, I told you, the king of glory may come in. Next verse, he said, Who is this king of glory? Ah, come on, read, continue, continue. The Lord mighty, mighty. Say the Lord. Lord means custodian. It means, Lord means owner. He owns. Mighty. When he's fighting, he doesn't just fight. His own is a mighty fight. Think what I say. There can be an earthquake, but when there is a volcanic eruption, it's different. It's different. The way God fights, he can use anything to fight. You don't know this God. 
That's why when somebody wants to fight you, don't worry about it. He wants to fight you, no problem. Connect to the one who owns everything. And when he wants to fight, if that person wants to take a stone, the stone is owned by your father. You didn't hear what I said. If he wants to go for a gun, the gun is owned by your father. So he can touch nothing because he owns nothing. The one who owns all things, he owns all things, is your father. Rise on your feet. Rise on your feet. They're going to pray. Lift your hands. I sing the song, the same song they're playing. Everybody lift your hands. The name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Let's sing to the Lord. Yes, come on and sing. Lift your hands. Let's worship Him. The name of Jesus. Higher than other names. Lift your hands. Let's worship Him. Everybody lift your hands one more time. Oh, the name of Come on, mention the name with strength, with power. time one more time the name the name the name of everybody lift your hands and worship him sing with every fiber of your being Everybody, the name, the name of Jesus, I have another name. Lift your voice and worship him. Lift your hands, lift your hands. Everybody lift your hands, lift your hands. There's an army rising up. Lift your hands. There's an army rising up. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain. Everybody lift your hands. Break every chain. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Pray the Holy Ghost for a minute before we begin to pray.
Agada gado mele daya. Shata ta para kumbele deje. Fasho maladi morote. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands, everybody. Lift your hands. The first prayer point you're going to pray tonight. You are going to declare strongly tonight every negative contention surrounding your name. Every negative influence surrounding your name. Whatever limitation you have been confronted with as a result of the name that you bear. As you are clapping and praying tonight, you are calling upon the name that is above every other name to disconnect you from the influence of that name. Please look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Names carry influence. I'm telling you. Names have influences. That's when the name of Jesus made it can influence an atmosphere. Yes. Lift your hands. You're crying to God tonight. In the name of Jesus. Every negative influence that your life has been confronted with as a result of the name upon your life. As you are clapping and praying, you are declaring, Oh God, disconnect me. Disconnect me. Say in the name of Jesus. Please pray well. Say in the name of Jesus. As I clap and pray tonight, in the name of Jesus the Christ, as I pray, every negative confrontation limitation that has come upon my life as a result of the name on my life as I clap and pray oh my father disconnect me disconnect me disconnect me in the name of Jesus clap your hands and pray aggressively somebody clap and pray Somebody pray, 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 pray. Rapakato bosada talata. Parakata kadimu kodo do bosada taya. Bakun tekele bosombra babala daya. Shata bakala badi bolo tolo lobo kumpolu atala. Somebody pray. We are praying three minutes. Three minutes. Open your mouth. Clap your hands and pray. Mante sata paya. Inta kapala gun tekele betia paradaya. Shogo logo do bolo bolo bo tempra kabali a table. Shodin baluata ya brada ba ya impra kusata inta kapanto inta kepeli a tapa ya inta tapa kapara tapa kata ya ikololo bo shata laba. Somebody lift your voice and pray. Rabakaya the limitations of your life, the hindrances, the stagnation, the making time, the cycles your life have been subjected to. As you are praying tonight, disconnect, disconnect. Ask God to disconnect. You step out of the confinement, walk out of it. I paraba shatala badaya, rapa pa pa pa. I katopo kose telebekaya. Somebody clap your hands and pray. Shadiye parua pandiya pandaya. Inta kataba kataya. Parua shatelebeka parua timataya. Zelo santaya. Impra kapanto lobo kompolu ataya. Somebody clap, clap and pray, pray, pray. Makonda, something must happen to your destiny. You cannot continue like this. You can't go the same way you're going. Something need to change. Something ought to change. Rapoba, Ripakanda, Itreke Feledaya. The glory of God must be seen over your life, over your marriage, over your children, over your future, over your ministry. Laboro Simbra Kabalataya. Reboko Shantini Nimitalataya. Rapaka Paratembokose. Somebody clap, clap and pray Shanta Barutea 
Felogo Saparua Pemperia Dima Sua Talaba, Iam Poluoya, Iam Poluoya, Shalaba Dima Laya, Impraca Panto, Riba Capala Basada Bataya, Impalogo Satini Nimitana Parataya, Infalo Salaba, Imbraba Baya, Imbraba Baya, Imbroco Bolotaya, Satalabadaya, Somebody pray, pray, Brado Sata, in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Please. When you are given the opportunity to pray, pray. When you get the chance to pray, pray. Yes. Huh. When you get the chance to pray, pray. Because prayer avails much. Effectual prayer of a favored man, of a righteous man. The Bible said it makes tremendous power available. I will pray for you very soon. Eh? It makes tremendous power available. So when you have access to prayer, one of the spiritual accesses we have is prayer. When you pray, heaven begins to respond. Heaven takes over the natural happenings. Lift your hands. Tonight, Every limitation that has influenced your life, Mando Shitai, as we are praying tonight, you are breaking that limitation of your life. Lift your hands. Tonight, some of you, you will step out of the confinement where the enemy has boxed you and said you can never break out. The power of God will break you out tonight. Lift your hands. This prayer, it will break some of you. Your financial limitations will be broken. After this prayer, some of you, you will buy your own houses. You didn't hear what I said. You didn't like what I said. Lift your hands. Something will happen in this prayer. Lift your hands. Malo Godobotaya. I'm praying for you, eh? the lady standing there. I'm praying for you right now. There's an angel who just came. The angel is by you. Eh? The angel is standing there. That same angel standing by you is the same angel. Leave it, leave it. Stand on the power. Yes. I told you something is happening here. The same, the same angel, Amako Shaya. This lady is taking back her destiny. She's warring to recover her destiny again. Something is happening to her. Malatai. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. presence of God in this house is so strong. Very strong. Very strong. The angel that is standing there, the same angel is holding, the same thing the angel is holding, is the same thing she's holding by the lady standing behind you. This lady in the brown. Yes, the angel is standing there, the same angel that stood there, the same angel is holding something, the same thing the angel is also standing there. I'll be coming to pray for both of them. Lift your hands. Someone has just encountered to take a breakthrough. So when you are praying, focus and pray because you can take yours. Don't look at anybody. When you come to church, forget about everyone and concentrate on yourself and take your miracle. That's it. If I take it, I'm going to my house with it. It won't enter your house. You enter my house. So when you come to church, focus and pray for a turnaround. Lift your hands. Or just get to this. I said this prayer. Some people say, Ayabokotobokolosaya. Some limitations are about to fall off in this prayer. Say in the name of Jesus. As I clap and pray. You spirit of limitation. That has fought my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Out of my life. Say out of my life. Say I step out of it. In the name of Jesus. Clap your hands begin to pray. Confront the spirit of limitation. Are you sure you are clapping and praying? Shata tata pakata parataya. Pantun pain tampun watala. Fata kapalataya. Limitations are breaking right now. Rapa papa. Impa katapaya. Ishata batala. Pata pantun imitaya. 
spirit of limitation prado kataya be arrested now shut up fire somebody clap and pray peloko shataya shanta makam fire impandu atatala shedebe kantuni nimitala Fellow Botomba, Timba, Tanta, Tanta, Panto, Timba, Tata, Tanta, Palata, Paruse, Pirianto, Paranta, Rapata, Shatabata, Rapapapa. Some of you are about to step out, you are about to step out, you are about to step out, Dalabataya, Rapapa. The chains are falling off, the falling off, the chains are falling off, Rapapa, Bea Palataya, Shatalabata. Clap and pray. Confront every limitation, every stagnation. Rapokoto, Sinadaya, Rapapapa. You have been marking time at the same place, the same spot, all this while. The time has come. The power of God is breaking you. You are working out. You are getting out of the confinement. You are coming out of the box. You are coming out of limitation. You are stepping out of the confinement. You are coming out of it. The limitations are broken. Somebody pray, pray, pray. Pray, shut up, Ataya. You shall not rent houses all your life. Rapa Kataya, Rima Kunta, Shedebataya, Shantalaba. You will not be hiding in people's Lakunta Balataya. You will not be hiding in your basement. You will not be hiding in that ghetto anymore. God is breaking the limitation of your life. You shall be an owner of an estate. God is lifting you. Rapa Kotos, Rima Papaya. There will be meaning to your life. There will be meaning to your life. Distinction is coming to you. Somebody clap and pray. Shatabataya, Parwa Talata, Shadabalabatua, Lima Kuntelebe Kompoluo, Shebebebebe Katalataya. Somebody pray, 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 pray to the Lord. Roma Kuntelebe Ruataya, Shatalalabataya. Somebody pray. Limitations must break. It must break. It must break. It must break. It must break. You cannot end the year the same. Something must change. 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 You must experience the glory. You must experience the power. Something must happen. A miracle must come through your door. Rapa papa. Rapa papa. Santaba. Your family must change. Your children must change. Rapa Kosaya. Your job must change. A miracle must happen. The glory must show forth. The power must happen. Rapokoto, somebody pray, pray, pray. Clap your hands and pray. Shandala Badaya, Rabba Baba, Rabba Baba, Rabba Baba, Rabba Baba. Take your prayer serious, pray seriously. Rabokosea, Rima Kadaba, Imbra Kabala, Shalabatimo, Beyantolo, Paluantala, Pila Kasonde, Libra Kapaya, Maru Shantoni Mitala Bandosa. Rabba Kobolo Salatai Imoko Shelebo Kobolo Asua In the name of the Lord Jesus Thank you Father Lift your hands again Lift your hands again Lift your hands again Some of you are stepping out of where the enemy kept you all this while. Left your hands. Left your hands. There are three people here standing here right now. Left your hands. Specifically, God is getting you out of that limitation. Lift your hands. Every eye closed. Don't look at anybody. Right now. The power of God will come upon those people right now. They have waited for so long. It's starting right now. It's starting right now. Holy Ghost. Yes. 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 Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Yes, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming upon you right now, right now, right now. Yes, 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 yes. Look at it, look at it. It's coming, it's coming upon you. Yes, 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 yes. Take it out, take it. It's coming upon you right now. Bring them to me. Everyone close your eyes. Don't look at anybody. Don't look at anybody. You came to encounter God yourself. This lady has waited for so long. Tonight is the end. God is bringing you out of everywhere the devil kept you. I'm talking to this lady. Take the power. Yes, take it. Take it out. Yes, 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 yes. Bring it. Bring it to me. This one, this one, this one, this one. Bring it to me. The weight is over. Take it out. Fire, Boshaya. Take it. The weight is over. It's over. It's over. Marada Bokoshata. Take the power. I shift you tonight. Hell, Shataya. It's over. Yeah, yeah, Bosha. Fire. Hey, the weight is over. Receive. Paraboshaya. The weight is over. The weight is over. Marando Koshaya. Lift it for me. I break the limitation. Hey! Shatabaka do Bosaya. Lift your hands, everybody. One more prayer point, then I'll begin to minister to people. One, one more prayer point. One more prayer point. Sunday, I'll preach for only 20 minutes. We will pray, and I'll begin to minister to people. We'll be closing in the next few minutes. Everyone, lift your hands. We are praying for you. Pray. Leave it. We're not praying. Lift your hands. There are some of you have some things you have waited for so long. Jacob, who was walking, there was some influence. Sunday, we will deal with demonic influences. Sunday morning, I'll teach you. Some of you, you have been influenced by spirits. They lead you to do things strangely. After you are done, before you realize, ah, what did I do? Spirits. They can lead you to put money into the wrong things. Then when it really matters, you realize that, ah, how come I don't have money to do this? The spirit led you to waste it. I will show you. Sunday. Demonic influence. Lift your hands. You are crying out to God. Some of you are waiting for things for long. Can you rise up? Rise up. I saw an angel that stood in front of you. And the angel held something in the hands like gold. And I saw that he put that gold into your hands. And the Lord said, I should tell you that you have been made a prosperous, wealthy woman after tonight. Uh. The Lord, I hear it claim, I hear it said, tell him wealth and riches will be his. Are you jealous about the blessing? Lift your hands. Marotaya. Can you come? Come and stand here. Stand here. Can you also come? Yes, you. You, you, the one looking back. Yes, come and stand here. The same angel that stood by her, the same angel also stood by you over there. And I'm going to tell you what it is. Everybody lift your hand. There are things you've waited for so long. Can you also come? Can you come? You can stand here. You can sing the song. I love this song. I don't know all the words of the song, but I love this song. I don't know all the words. I, I know, I know bits and bits, pieces of the word, the song, but not everything. But I love it. Lift your hands. 
understand that. We'll, we'll sing, don't worry. If you want to sing, we'll go home tomorrow. Lift your hands. You are crying out to God. God, everybody. You are telling God, whatever you have waited for so long, you are telling God, the Father, tonight, I take it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> God is healing you. There's an angel. He says that God is healing you tonight. Lift both hands. Lift both hands. Stand by here. Father, right now, whatever is hiding in mom's body, right now, we locate it and we throw it out. Leave the body now. Leave it. Leave it now. Let it go free at the power of the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus. Everybody lift your hands. You are praying this prayer. Whatever you have waited for so long, you are telling God that Pradiko Shatalataya. Minomo Shataya. Some of you, hear me. This prayer I'm going to pray. Some of you, Malodaba, in the next 48 to 72 hours, you will carry a testimony that will shock the very core of your life. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I said, in the next 48 to 72 hours, Malotabalataya, you will carry that testimony that will surprise you because you never felt it to come through, but God came through. I'm telling you. You hear me? This prayer point you're going to pray. If, if, if you feel that you are the one, something's going to happen. You can lift up a seat. Come and stay at this altar and pray for one minute as we begin to pray. If you feel that you are the one the prophet is declaring about, carry a seat in your hands. Come to the altar. New here. Put the seat on. Hold the horns of the altar and talk to God. As I hold the horns of the altar, I take my breakthrough. I take my blessing. Don't take it as a joke. Spiritual things are so serious, you must grab it immediately. What was supposed to be for Esau, he played around it. When Jacob located it, he took it away from him. You see, when you see opportunities, grab it with both hands, even at your feet. Take it and go with it. Malotaba. When we begin to pray, if you feel you are the one that the prophet was speaking about, that you in the next 48 to 72 hours, something must happen, something must shift in your life. That by the 31st of December, as you walk into this house, you are coming with a testimony that will shake the Ayabo Talatara. Raise that seed in your hands. You come to the altar. Hold the altar. Drop the seed and pray here for just one minute and see if God will come through. Say in the name of Jesus. I want to hear. Say in the name of Jesus. Whatever I have waited for too long, oh my Father, tonight as I pray, I take it. I take hold of it. Say, I possess it. Say, I possess it. Now, in the name of Jesus, lift your voice, begin to pray. If you are one of them, come to the altar. If you feel you are the one, open your mouth and pray. Are you sure you are praying? Somebody pray, pray. Receive a miracle tonight. Take it. Receive a miracle. Take it tonight. Take a miracle, take a miracle. Receive a miracle. Receive a miracle. Take it up. Take, it. take a miracle. Take it. Receive a miracle, mommy. Malo Dose. Somebody A new level. Hey! Take it now. Receive it now. Somebody help help me. Help me. Hey! 
a new day a new beginning for you new beginning for you pray about shataya i break your limitation come on go 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 and remove that marks on your face take your favor take it out take it out take favor take favor Raboko Shataya, I declare strength, strength, supernatural doors. I cancel satanic dreams. You will never be rejected again. I cast the seed of poverty out of your life. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Let us stand. Let us stand. Up. I remove the veil. Any curse upon your life, pronounce upon you. Lift it. Lift it. Lift it. I remove that curse. I remove the curse. I reverse the curse. Hey, Parada Bokosaya. I open a new door for you. I remove the curse. No more curses. No more curses. No more cases. No more cases. Why, Abokosa? Take the blessing. Take the blessing. Take the blessing. It is done for you. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Everybody lift your hands. Can you put a good hands on your on your stomach? Mato broski matas. Let it come forward. I cancel every operation tonight. Malote pratas, mande kosha. Anything that will let your stomach be split for doctors to work on you tonight. It is cancelled. Yes. I cancel it. Yes. 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 Holy Ghost. It is cancelled. Mila tumataya. Marateketi. Out. Yes. Out. Yes. Now. 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 Lose her. Out. The power of the Holy Ghost. Out. Out. Maratata. The body. Yes, yes. Come on now. Come up. Come up. Every satanic deposit. I guess it. Out. Out. Yes, 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 yes. Come out. Come out. You can't stay in this body. You can't stay here. I command you. Out. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, let it go. Let it go. Let it leave you now. Thank you. Milo Shaya. Lift your hands. The angel that I saw standing there, everybody, if you can understand, we're going to pray for these wonderful sisters. The angel showed up right there, and the angel was holding a wedding gown, and I saw the angel also standing here, where you were, wedding gown, and I saw the same angel coming by where you were standing also. The angel was holding a wedding gown. Stretch your arms towards them. The heavens are open. There's going to be glorious blessing upon your life. Every attack against the joy of marriage, against all of you, I decree tonight it is cancelled. I don't like the way I'm not rejoicing for them. Stretch on. There's a blessing of marriage, blessings of God's goodness that has showed up here tonight. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Holy Ghost, hey! Receive favor, favor. You will never be abused anymore. Rambo Koshatai. Randa da da bokototos. Hey! Yes, 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 yes. Take it. Take it. Paya da da botaya. Oh, I see greatness. Greatness. Greatness all over you. Greatness all over you. Look at how the angel is smiling on you. Hey! Shanda bokototos. Da bokototos. Ah, 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 last Ripa Kamara Tadodo Satatatatatas. Holy Ghost. 
Every wrong hand upon your womb, Brandos, I cut it off. Yes. I bless every seed from your womb. I bless. Hey, yes, 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 yes. Look at how the children are becoming great. I see them. I see them. Take it out. Hey, Lift it. Lift it. The Lord said you are a star. Malataya. This is a star. Lift it. 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 Nothing will cover you anymore. Rambo Kostaya. Miro Toko. No more pain. No more pain. No more pain. It is done for you. Lift your hands, everybody. Daddy, can I pray for you? Shh. Lift both hands, please. Both hands. Both hands. Shh. You're going to pray. Shh. Everybody stretch your one here. There is an attack of stroke against him. I told you that the first prophetic word God gave me. Can I get oil? Can you please fold this shirt a little bit backwards for me? And you, you dip your hand into the oil and rub it on this hand. Use the right hand. Dip it and rub it here. Just wait for time. If we don't pray, this man will get a terrible mouth stroke. He will sleep, wake up, and realize that he cannot move that hand anymore. It will wither. There is a strange attack against his hand. For stroke, mouth stroke. I saw this man walking, but the hand was just hanging there. He couldn't do nothing with it. We're going to cry out to God to block that satanic arrow. Stretch your hands. What has happened here tonight, most of you have no idea. You have no idea what has happened. Stretch your hands. Stretch your hands. You know, when I come in, I say I prophesy. I prophesy to many people. I stretch your hands. What has happened here tonight, you have no idea. Some of you, your prayers have ushered you like you. You have been ushered into a new realm. You know what I saw? I saw her climbing and she entered the clouds. This lady. The glory that has come of our sister, you have no idea. You have no idea. Serious levels of glory. This lady has changed. It's too late for her to remain the same again. It's too late. It's too late. I say it's too late. Look at the power is coming upon here. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Receive an anointing upon your life. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive the power. Stretch your hand here. We are lifting prayer. Asking God to intervene in daddy's life. Every spirit of stroke. Whoever released that arrow. We are reversing it back to the person. What will happen is that he will sleep and have a dream. And in that dream, he will see that his people are attacking him. They are attacking him. And you say somebody wanted to shoot him with a gun, but somebody else came and hit him. And when the person hit him with a stick, you wake up in the morning and you realize that the hand is not working anymore. It's an attack. The enemy wants to besiege his life. But tonight, by the power in the name of Jesus... We are bodobo shalatai. Stretch for hand. Stretch for hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Say we reverse every attack against our brother. In the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and pray for him. Somebody pray for him. I don't know you. Probably this might be my first time of meeting you. But in the realm of the spirit, I saw you. And as I looked at you, I saw you seated in an office. But when I saw you seated, I could see multiplicity of things around you. And I could see wealth, money, blessing so many things around you but suddenly I saw that a wind blew and everything started scattering and everything that you have acquired it looks like everything that you are supposed to get in life you were losing it you were living your life and instead of your life climbing up it's like you are descending rather from the staircase instead of 
going up. The Lord said, I should pray for you. Look at me, say. The Lord said, I should pray for you. Whatever the enemy has battled your life with, tonight that battle is over. <laughs> Are you stretching your hands? Stretch your hands. Stretch your hands. Stretch your hands. Stretch your hands. If we don't pray for you, everything, look at me, say, whatever you have gained in your life, you will lose everything. I see greatness on you. Greatness from the crown of your head to the... I see greatness everywhere. But when I look at you in the spirit, you are walking without it. There's an attack on your life. It doesn't matter your age. God can still turn things around for you. Stretch your hand towards him. We are lifting up prayer. Father, restore him. That's the prayer we are praying. Stretch your hand and pray. Father, restore him. Restore him. Everybody, pray this prayer quickly, quickly, quickly. There is no time. We are closing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bind that spirit of stroke. Satan, take your hands off him. Yes. I bind that spirit out. Yes. You will not afflict him no more. You will not afflict him no more. Maruse In Tosca. I stabilize your blood pressure. Maladobo Shantaya. In I stabilize it. I stabilize it. Yes, 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 yes. 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 From today, you will be healthier than before. Strength has come to you. And all your financials also, God will streamline it to the glory of his name. Be blessed. Be blessed. Are you sure you are clapping for the Lord? Come with your wife. Let me release the baby to both of you. you don't want it. If you don't want it, that's fine. Hmm? I know I'm saying that, but if you don't want it, because there's what is going on in my spirit, that's why I asked. You know when I prophesied first, what I didn't say, but now I've come back to it because of what my spirit has picked up. So, if you don't want it, I will only a prophet, there are things that your spirit picks up. When your spirit picks it up like that, I wouldn't release it further unless they are, both of them, their spirit is open to receive what God is bringing. God doesn't force anything on anybody. No. no. But if their spirit wants it, because I saw the baby, I saw it clear. Very clear. And when I see things like that, it doesn't miss. But I pray for both of you. You lift your hands. You want it, you can. If you don't want it, you want it, okay. Okay. Glory be to God. Father, thank you. Into this family, let the child be released. Now, angel, they are ready for it. Give it to them. <laughs> Take it now. It is done for them. In the name of Jesus. Daroshen Nalata. Are you clapping? Are you clapping? Hear me. God has favored you. I'm talking about you. From today, no more slow progress in your life. I'm talking to this lady. I told you Sunday, Sunday, I'll just preach for like 15 minutes. Then I'll, I'll take time to pray for everybody. So make sure Sunday you are in on time. Sunday, I'll preach much more earlier okay sunday i'll take the microphone very early if you come to church late by the time you come we are far gone so sunday service at 12 make sure you are here even by 11 30 you are here it's fine be here early stay in the church 
okay, so that at least by a quarter to one o'clock, I'll take the microphone. I want to make time to speak into people's lives and tell you every single word God wants you to hear. Take your seat. Take your seat. Take your seat. Shh. Take your seat. Take your seat. Take your seat. There are 11 people. Shh. There are 11 people sitting here right now. 11 people. 11. Not 12. 11. 11. 11. You want to transit, shh, transit from where you are into another level of glory. I want you to rise up and step forward. You want to carry a seed of 500, 300, and 200. Walk to the altar. You, you find yourself at a place. You want to step out of that place into a new dimension of your life. Walk to the altar. 500, 300, 200. Walk to the altar. Give me the oil, please. You find yourself at a place. You have been staying there for long. I want to say, I'm tired of this level. I want to cross. Walk to me quickly. 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 11 people. Walk to me quickly. They are all here. 11. You have struggled with that life. So I'm so tired of this level. I want to transit from that place. And walk into another level. Where things will happen better and faster than they should. You want to walk to the altar. Walk here. Come here quickly. Quickly. Open the oil. I will drop this oil upon your head and into your hands. God will give you ideas that will change your life. And whatever you lay your hands upon, you will see multiplicity come upon it. Come and stand at the altar. 500, 300, 200. Walk to me quickly. There is, there is an anointing Thank you, Pastor Bernard. There's an anointing that when it comes upon a man, it changes.